I'm so excited to talk. By the way, my internet might randomly cut out at any time, at any point. In it's this. okay. We don't really need you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just, just cut yourself out. <laughs> cut out my of life. Oh, that's okay. Live for twenty seconds and nobody's notified yet. What is this, YouTube? Get on your shit. Get on with it. Oh, I can't see your stream there at all. It just popped up for me. Hello there, everyone. Oh, How wonderful. Oh, God. I mean, you got to sound excited because this movie's going to be... Oof. <laughs> <laughs> this movie was great. What are you talking about? I'm not, I'm not playing by any rules for this. I'm upset that Jay would even try and test this movie was okay. That's yeah. Also, the chat is not popping up on the stream. Is that by default? Yes, that's the first thing we need to discuss. Uh, there were too many women. Uh, oh, doesn't answer my question, but okay. No, three, <laughs> three to one women were here. Um, I saw that there was a whammon on the poster, and then another one, and then another one. That is unacceptable. Two of them aren't even pre-established whammon. True. Um, but yeah. I love the part where it's like, oh no, it's not some man, it's you. They, you they said, it, okay, we shouldn't don't, hang like, on, we sorry, should don't, don't you this, love but... that they made Sarah Connor sexist so that they could make the point that the movie wasn't sexist? What, you mean the fact that she was like... Sarah Connor automatically assumed that it was going to be some man, so they made her sexist so they could be like, no, we, the filmmakers, are not sexist. Aren't it doesn't we have to not be being some sexist? man. Mourn. It can be some anyone. Dun, 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 dun. No, Don't that remember one. that pre-established character trait that Sarah Connor was sexist. She's a strange one in this film in terms of just what's going on there. She made me hate her so quickly. I wanted <laughs> to like her so badly. And like... Well, she was amazing in T2. Um, I yeah. guess... I'm... Yeah, oh. what? Oh, I was going to say the only reason why she... Uh... Oh, well... How... Are we, what, are we, what are we talking about right now? Are we going to go in straight in or are we... Well, this is the thing. It's going to be confusing. I guess we'll try and do uh, talking about the film from start to finish, scene by scene. Yeah. But, uh, there'll be some things talk... we'll want to talk about as like a meta in terms of a, uh, a lot of things going over from beginning to end, like a character. Yeah, because I was, I was going to jump into something that was going to well, happen like two thirds into the <clears> way. Um. Well, I guess, Sorry. hang on to... Actually, all of you, pull up a notepad. If there's anything you want to say, but you feel like, oh, it might be... Say it, just... How about that the chat is not on stream? There's still no... Well, that's a good point. That's... Yeah, I said that, like, five minutes ago, but you ignored me. <laughs> <laughs> I just figured it would come out by then. Like, you know, just give it a second, but... No, no it's not... The spider web is still there. <laughs> Thank goodness the spider web is still there. <laughs> I will fix that in a moment. Uh, while yeah, I'm course. pressing the button, why don't you guys give your overall first impressions as a whole, overall as a whole, overall Three in general out of as a whole. In a nutshell. <laughs> in a hole. In a hole? <laughs> a, nut a nutshell in a hole. They made me not like Sarah Connor. Um, wait, yeah, actually let's do that. Alex was right. Two numbers. What do you give it out of ten? Three. Oh, what would you give it out of 10? Yeah, I agree. 3. Uh, Alex, what would you give it out of 10? <laughs> oh, I'm going to go for a bold 4. <laughs> Ooh. I think I'd probably go I'm for like a 3.5. <laughs> well, I consider Centrist. that maybe Genesis a 2 or a 3. So it's got to be above Genesis by at least one point. Maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Well, Genesis is like one fucking movie. Terrible. Yeah, that's mm. very bad. Indeed. That's fine. That's... Yeah, I, I, I'm not overly concerned. <laughs> Just as long <laughs> as it's above Genesis, but not above anything, uh, about below anything else. This is the first time I feel chat. like saying I've not seen it will will make yeah, me earn nice. points. Yeah, people will be like, "Oh, you didn't see it. Good job." <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess yeah, I'm only gonna say this. Pretty is... bad, but it was not as bad as we expected. I only say this the one times is because there's no point in repeating it a million times, but uh. This, we're going to spoil the whole film while talking about it. That's a good thing. Nobody should read No way. Worry about that. <laughs> uh, but if you want to see it without spoilers, then don't watch this stream. It's also in the title. I have done everything I can to prevent you. 
spoiled of this very good movie. I like, like how you put no spoiler in the title it. instead of spoilers. So there's only gonna we're only allowed to spoil <laughs> well, one. There thing. is one spoiler, and it is for the whole movie. <gasps> also, no one wants to see the shit, movie anyways. Apparently, because cinema was empty as shit. Yeah, the cinema was really quiet. Oh everyone, yeah. Mm, there were three surprised. other people in mine. Three that's, other people than you. Wow. That's <laughs> three other people in me. See, it, 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 it's it's than you, not in you. <laughs> If oh. this was like, like Terminator Four, and this and like, and this is like the sequel to Terminator Three, like the like you know, like they were trying to go for or well, two really, but if it was like the fourth actual one, and it's been this long since the last one, I think it would like have a bigger turnout. But I think it was a oh, shame. Absolutely. Well. Wonder if yeah. yeah. Well, oh, obviously, Genesis I would have guessed, didn't exist. Yeah, I would have guessed it would make money. This film, but I don't know. Maybe it won't. We'll suffer. Um, I was made aware that apparently they wanted to make a trilogy out of this. Oh, mm -hmm. God. And with how it ends, <laughs> you can see how that's possible. Uh, yeah. <laughs> with you them pre preventing right. Legion? Apparently, yeah. All right, yeah. So th there's going to be a lot of people in this audience who do not care to see this film. They're going to want a plot summary. So we'll go apparently through the film. Apparently it's 40 million opening weekend. Is that bad? I uh, That's probably good enough to make its money back. It's, it probably costs like... I want to say 200, 300 million. So that that's not its money back. No, but it's indicative <laughs> that it will make its money. Back. Okay. Maybe I don't know. Maybe. Um. So the the film begins. Uh, I don't know if anyone's got comments on each of these things, but I'll have to have to summarize it while they're showing us the opening credits. So like you know, who made this film? Producers, companies, and stuff. They're into splicing it with the video from T two where uh, Sarah's talking about how the world's going to end, which was. Range to me. Mm -hmm. And it felt really like, hey, remember Terminator okay. 2? Remember? Every fucking scene is like, hey, remember Terminator 2? That's what mm. the, it's a remake of but Terminator 2, but with I was going to say, it's interesting whamming. that there's not much at all in terms of references to Terminator 1. Like, Kyle Reese isn't mentioned at all. Nah. Um, yeah, and it's mainly, it's just Terminator 2 was the one that got stream super. Um, but yeah, I get just, just, using that video. I don't know. It's just to me, I'm just like I'm trying to get to my nostalgic plans. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna roll their with their worth. But it's also supposed to, I guess, be a message from the, the narrative, being that hey, I think they stopped Skynet. Well, maybe they did. That's the thing <laughs> they do, they're going for the, with this one. In the other films, they were like, nah, Skynet can come back in lots of different ways. In this film, they're like, no, no, they killed it. But another thing happened. <laughs> yeah. So is that a thing that okay, I've not seen Terminator 2 that recently? Is it? Um, could you <clears> interpret <throat> from Terminator 2 that they actually stopped Skynet in the events of that film? Uh, yeah. Well, the idea is that they stopped. So Terminator 1 was supposed to be a closed loop, as in Al Reese comes back to save Sarah from a Terminator that was sent back to kill her and, in, and thus creates John Connor. Who eventually uh, saves humanity oh, so and forces? Uh, so was Terminator Two. Terminator Two was a closed loop. No, 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 no. Well, Tim no, Terminator Two is not. That's the point of Terminator Two. It's it's trying to say <coughs> that um, this time when they came back, instead of just protecting John, they're also going to find a way to stop Skynet from ever happening in the first place. Um, and they do. Wait. But the reason, because uh, what happens in T2, they try and argue that uh, instead of it happening in any way that it was going to, it happens sooner because they have access to the Terminator arm and the CPU, if you remember from T1. Yeah, and then they stop that, making it happen when it was going to happen anyway before, right? Uh, well, still I thought their point was that stopping that and blowing up Cyberdyne and deleting all of whatever, they, they essentially stopped it. Um, mm -hmm. And it was supposed to be a positive message about how you can control your fate. Everyone keeps saying I'm cutting out. I'm looking at my mic levels. It doesn't show I them can cutting hear out. Fine. Look well, here. you wouldn't hear the same thing. They get it through OBS. You get it through Discord. Fair enough. <clears throat> am I still well, cutting me, out? Let me check. Chat, or am I fine? You're cutting out even more. Oh, someone said he hears me perfectly fine. Yeah. Uh, so that leaves us with uh, the end of the story. T2 is like, hey, not only did we actually stop Skynet's assassination attempt, but we also uh, ended, uh, you know, there is no fate but what you make. You, we've stopped Judgment Day as well. And that's why she says it in this film. And that's why in T3, 
when they were like, lol, Judgment Day happens regardless. It's like, oh, fuck off. Like, fuck you. Mm -hmm. That's why everyone was pissed at T3. Um, because T3 was just, he wants to continue the franchise. And then T4, people were less pissed because it was like a new take on trying to do the war part, which is what everybody wanted to see anyway. And then Genesis happened, and that pissed off everybody <laughs> more than ever. Like, literally deleting films and humiliating or trying to humiliate the older films. That fucking line where he says, you're a, you're a relic from a deleted timeline. Oh, yeah. Me, Alex, and Bell watched that uh, the night before last. No, before we went to see... Yeah, it was the night before last. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah, um, what an ironic line, considering what's happened now. The film that says, <laughs> lol, you, you suck, gets deleted from canon. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. Get fucked. Um, but Dark Fate has decided, okay, yes. Yes, they stopped Skynet. That did happen. You're like, okay. And it's like, but something else comes along. Which is having a cake and eating it, I guess. Kind of like the better call soul of movies. We're like, hey, Breaking mm. Bad stopped. It totally stopped, but we're also going on. It's like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I think for me, Genesis is like the sequel that no one asked for. And then this is just like, an, well, just another variation of it. <laughs> it's just like, they, they, I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> What's their plan really behind this? And you're saying like there's, there's a the plan is money. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I, don't, oh. I thought we'd be that cynical straight off the bat. <laughs> Probably worth me, um, <clears throat> me, me explaining the first scene we get. Uh -huh. I'll just, I guess I'll just give it, give oh, it the old God. summary. Oh, no, this scene is great. This is the best so, scene um, in the film. No, shut up. I gotta do something else for the five, ten minutes. <laughs> Let me, you get the old Terminator 2's finished, it's in the bag, everything's great. Then apparently, uh, all we know is Sarah Connor goes to a beach with John, and they look exactly the same as at the end of T2, essentially. Just chilling. Just chilling. John looks like he's gone to get an ice cream or something, I don't know. Having his, having his chill out day, and then Sarah's like, got a beer, everything's going great. And then Arnie just shows up and shoots John three times with a shotgun and he dies. Yay! <laughs> and Sarah's like upset, obviously. <laughs> and um, and Arnie throws her away, and then he just walks off because th he's done. The machine has terminated its target, mm -hmm. and that's it. That's our welcome to Terminator Three, technically, because they'd want to call it that if they could. I guess I don't know if there's a legal thing, but. They have so many games numbers these days. Like people way, way prefer subtitles instead of main titles. I think it's because they're embarrassed when you have like you know go, numbers go <laughs> up to four, associate five, with T three. <laughs> What's well, not even that? Just numbers like go up to like f seven, six. It's like oh my god, like you know, it, it, it gets a bit absurd eventually, doesn't it? Um, yeah. and honestly, it's a little bit like cruel as well. He shoots John once, and then he walks up to him and double taps him with shotgun again, <laughs> and is like, wow. <laughs> you really, you know, you want to tell the audience he definitely did make it. You're like, yeah, I, I get it. Uh, that is Edward Furlong's co contribution to this film, by the way. Wait, was he actually in it? Was well, I think cast? they would have modeled young John after his face. I don't know if they filmed a scene where he did it in like some kind of. <laughs> no, I don't think they would have. I don't know what's going on below me, but my floor is literally vibrating right now. Please don't die. Oh, I promise not to. So uh, that that scene alone, there's like three or four scenes that make me hate the film. Not as many as Genesis, but that's one of them. It's just like, it, it's such a middle finger. Mm-hmm. Um, hey, but without that scene, the film wouldn't be able to happen. Wouldn't it, though? Couldn't you just have John? Well, for <laughs> John. <laughs> for <laughs> John. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, oh. yeah. So next up... Um, our new Terminator, not Terminator, a uh, hero, spawns in uh, on a on a bay or something, and kills several policemen. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I guess we'll just speed through this shit. So like, she's unconscious. Our oh, right. our heroine <laughs> and um, police show up because she like I guess she fucked everything up on like a highway. Um, and they're like, "Yo, what are you doing?" But then they they aim guns at her, so that gives her reason enough to essentially kill them all. Like I don't. I don't know that she kills any of them, but she fucking wounds the shit out of them. I don't think she cares. No, I don't think she cares either. I get that impression throughout the film, and I think that the, we're supposed to believe that she believes that this is all to save the world, so it doesn't matter. I, I, I get behind that, to be fair. 
Mm-hmm. Like if if um, an equivalent movie came out where she didn't save the world because she wanted to let some policeman have a fighting chance, I'd be like, fuck off. <laughs> Uh, yeah, she takes some people's clothes and just your standard sort of tip, bro. Uh, though she's got enhancements, talks like a person for the part, and she like can scan shit. I don't even really know how to put it. Yeah. You get a view of her eyes every once in a while, and she like scans the crap out of everything. She has zoom. She's and been hacked. She has zoom and enhance. It's a very useful. Tip. It is for spotting crashing drones. <laughs> so, um, Stop dropping her head, Jay. God. <laughs> Wait, Jay, Jay's got to get his sass no, out. I, I was just a hypothetical. It wasn't anything to do with that. What actually happens in the film? So then we meet our protagonist. I forget her name. Grace. Gra- Gra- no, no, no uh, Grace Daddy. is the Terminator. Yeah, not the the not Terminator. <laughs> oh, Danny. oh, oh, Danny. Right. Yeah, her full name is like Dan- Daniela. Is it? Danny. Who cares? Danny. We'll call her Danny. <laughs> Fuck her. Um, you're cutting out again, Mola. Ugh, I'm gonna have to get all close to my microphone, I guess. There you go. No, I'll go back. Talk a lot. Um, <laughs> so, Danny, the wonderful Danny, is seen being kind to lots of different people. She's sorting out her family's life. She like helps her dad get things in order and gets her brother to do this, that, and the other. Like, get ready for that. work because he's late and make sure her dad gets her pills. The, the film's way of being like, she seems to be pretty good when it comes to being a leader, if you may, if you may say. What do you guys think? Yeah, it's kind of like a leader no, thing, no. huh? How about that? No, she seems not. like she's going to give birth to someone important. <gasps> oh my yeah, that's God. sexist that you automatically assume is to do with birth, Jay. Well, that's what women are for. Oh, no. Oh, my Fuck goodness. You know. <laughs> uh, the views of. JXI do not reflect the views of <laughs> FUP. The views of FUP are far worse. Right now. Um, which takes us to her going to work, I think. Um, which is just like some industrial plant, and then they make a big deal about how. Um, yeah, her and her brother, the car factory. How like ro- robots replacing humans. <clears throat> it was like, that's so fucked up, I guess, the, the, because there's a lot of random bits of commentary. Uh, in a meta sense in this yeah. film. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, but all of it's really thin, though, so it's like, there's not much to say about it. It's just like, yeah, there's automations replacing worker jobs. That's a thing that happens in the film, and they're like, no, bad. I don't know if it's also trying to say something about the machines in general, the, the Terminator law machines. I think they just felt clever for including it, because it was thematically relevant to the events of the film. Machines yeah. try to kill humans, and machines replace humans in real life. Uh, the machines uh, took my gerbs. Look, it actually happens in real life. We're not that far off the Terminators. Terminators are coming for us. Almost trying to warn us. Oh yeah, of course. And 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 uh, new Terminator man uh, arrives too. Um, uh, also, yeah, it, was it always a thing that it freezes things around it when they teleport? No, felt, like, no, that's like that's like a new like special effect. Yeah, because before it was just like the electrical. It was lightning and the burn stuff. I mean. Literally burn things into, uh, burn holes yeah. into things. <laughs> Going yeah. through time. Wait, this this cold. one as well, but for some reason it freezes it, and I don't know why. Yeah, because Genesis has that one where when like the car drives through the 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 bubble or whatever, or it just like melts instantly. Yeah. So it get it gets a bit more creative or <laughs> different each time. Well, if you remember, like, oh, this it. is this isn't the Skynet technology now. It's Legion technology. So maybe it freezes everything around it because that's just a thing that it. Yeah, but works pretty much exactly the same in every other, well, meaningful way. <laughs> so, Legion um, is such a cool and creative name. Oh, it was so cool. So, like, Evil Terminator kills uh, Danny's dad, and then takes his takes his face, takes his body, and it does the the whole thing. Because he's a uh, he's like the Terminator Three Terminator, except this time he can like duplicate himself. He's got like a core that's a Terminator, and then. Goopy goo that can come out and be a Terminator. If you've seen the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. Um, that's the, the film. cool new Tim. You know that they were like, how do we make a cool new Terminator? We've done Liquid, we've done Liquid and Solid put together. How about Liquid and Solid, but they can come away from each other? You need a gas Terminator. Mm. I quite liked the tit and tan- and <laughs> what? What? I liked the tit enhancement Terminator from T3. 
Oh. But it's worse <laughs> than the T-1000. <laughs> mm. I still love it at this point that they don't bother to explain why they only ever send one Terminator back. Like, you know, they covered it in the first one. and well, They've made it know. so much worse. <laughs> yeah. Well, they, they, they suggested that they send loads of Terminators back, be, but again, I guess there. none of them find it. Not there yet. But it's we're relevant almost... to what we're currently talking about. Is it though? Is it yes. though? Yes. And we are not almost there. That's like halfway through the film, at least. Um, I do that's like almost in the sense that time isn't linear. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're, we're just time traveling through the events of the film. That's what yeah. happens when we mention something out of sequence. So, like, both the. What, what do I call the good Terminator? Grace? No. Um, well, yeah, that's not her, her name. I guess that is her name. Grace. If people are going to remember who we're even talking about when I say that, that's why I'm saying good Terminator. You, or you could say the, you know, the augmented human or whatever. But that's, that's long winded. <laughs> Fine, the augmented, <laughs> the good, the good guy Terminator, not Terminator is pretty much what she is. She, she's she gets to the workplace. Oh yeah, she's, her brother's being fired as well. The main character, Danny's brother, and she's like, "Can't fire him. He needs to be here." Blah, 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 blah. And it's just like, all right, yeah, so showing that she stands up for 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 people as well. Got to get them characteristics in before you try and explain that she's like the leader of humanity and stuff. Make enough sense. Um. And then Evil Terminator gets to their job and starts trying to kill everybody. Uh, he, so he has a a lunch bag that he's holding a gun underneath, I think, or in. Because uh, I gotta make this clear, he can't make complex machines or, or guns or anything out of his goop. He can't make oh, top shit. was he actually holding that gun? Because I. I thought that he actually like formed that. I swear it showed him forming that gun, and I was like, "What the fuck?" It's, it's it looks like he's yeah. forming it, but he's definitely holding it before he does that. Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll go with that. Just I because thought the movie was worse. They never yeah, no. well since they never get him to spawn guns ever again. It kind of well, it's that's, like... that's why I thought it was such a huge problem. Like I would I would be okay yeah, yeah, with yeah. them changing the rules. Like okay, he can spawn weapons and like the guns now. Well, well, there was just so many like, opportunities. He never does where... it again for the rest of the film. Like okay, but, but there's so many opportunities where he just like he chose deliberately to you like to form his hands into like you know spiky uh well uh well, spears or whatever. <clears throat> yeah. And then there's like a gun would have just been better and more efficient. And as a robot, you should just be able to go on, you know, like instant, like pinpoint accuracy, bang dead. But no, <laughs> you know, uh, he like holds the bag up to the sun at one point, and you can see what looks like a trigger behind the um, bag right at the top. I think he's holding the gun the whole time. Um, yeah. So, mm, so yeah. he picked up a gun beforehand, and but where did he get it? it with him? Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think they showed anything. So he says. He he says Buenos Dias to the. Uh, oh, sorry. Can we just talk well, about I didn't how, get the policeman's uniform. Can we talk about how un like how unintentionally funny the scene where he drops down naked from like the middle of the building uh, and sees a <laughs> random woman there and just says Buenos Dias. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was. It's such a weird uh, thing with villains in Terminator because the whole idea is that obviously they uh, they are machines. They don't actually have any kind. of Personalities. Whatever they speak or do anything, I'm always just trying to figure out how um... how that helps them with their mission. Essentially. Yeah, like it always has to be a pragmatic thing. So him just being like, "Hello," it's just like, eh, "I guess that's just to try and don't cause any trouble with regular people." Um, so he thinks that dropping out of the sky, fully naked, and I saying, mean, "Oh shit, this is gonna be bad." What I will but say that's is, why they're both falling out of the sky in this he one? Does form like spikes or like a spike? Uh, in mm -hmm. the fight in the industrial place, one that uh, basically there are several times in the film where he has a chance. Why can't he just throw a spear that he can make of himself? I'm not. I can reference Genesis that they do that, but maybe that doesn't count because it's not canon now. Uh, but like logically, he would be able to do that based on. What I, I don't see why he can't. Yeah, just throw a thing. Uh, also, dropping the um the heavy weight on him. Remember the brother does that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, why doesn't the goo just immediately come off the body and start attacking them again? Because film. Like, he's, she's like, that won't take him down for long. It's like, shouldn't take him down at all. And she should know that, because she's fought, like, a million of these things. Well, she uses a, like, 12 gauge shotgun or whatever to take him down initially. So it's like, well, if that can do that, a car dropping on him would, like, you know, have enough force to do something. 
Mm. But then it's yeah, why can't he just you know well mold out and just sliver away yeah, on that? <clears throat> he gets better at being a Rev Nine, which is what he's called. Later in the film, earlier in the film, he's kind of meh. Like, the action scenes were decently done, though. To be fair, what do you mean, like? Um, <laughs> uh, chore- I-, I would say the way they were choreographed. Yeah, I didn't have, I didn't notice anything horrifically bad. Uh, no, I, I thought, that, I thought that the choreography was good. Just a like very visceral action scene. So, well, I have criticisms of not less the choreography, more the the decisions of the characters in terms of. Fights. Yeah, yeah, that uh, was stupid as fuck. Yeah, like they they do stupid things, but the way it, like the way all the action flows together, very nice. Also, hello, Nedrotic. He said, "What is more complicated? What is more complicated, a human body or a gun?" Oh, and no. um, in fairness, he only he doesn't like copy a whole human body, does he? It's, you, it's like the, the outside of yeah, a human body. Like if you cut him, he's still just mad. Like um, a, a human body doesn't have any gunpowder in it. Gunpowder like, and moving okay, parts, like yeah. Make any shape he wants, yeah, but he can't make in moving fairness, parts and yeah, chemicals. They never stuff. say that he can't do that, I don't think. Does she say he can't do that? Like, what I'm suggesting is that we don't see him do it, so we assume he, he can't, but, um. He'll make know. guns and stuff. Yeah, like, he must well, not be able to because he, he fucking should have. <laughs> yeah, so if he could, he obviously. Absolutely. Oh, do you remember this? Loads of stupid decisions in this film. Anyway, I can't remember so. if there's more than one instance of this, but she has Spider Sense, the uh, the not Terminator protector person. She, uh, yes. He goes, oh shit, and looks to the left, and then this uh, he bursts through the wall. As yeah, thingy. I, I thought that was weird with the truck. Yeah, and it's just <laughs> like, she do, do you, that can you? Or? <laughs> I don't remember any other instances of her having Spider Sense. <laughs> I like I mean, to think I like to think that was some... an editing fuck up. Like they got the clips in the wrong order. Like it was supposed to burst through first, and, and then, then she, she goes, was oh, supposed shit, to say, yeah. "Oh shit." <laughs> I mean, does she say a lot uh, of or what, that, what, she, that she uh, has like super hearing or whatever? It's like it's because she don't yeah, have super well, hearing or something. She just spot a UAV. Like <clears throat> I think yeah. she's from the future she and she already knew what happened. She read it in a history book. No, no, but she can spot a UAV that like you know, X, X for how far in the sky, and then yeah, but she could see that. She had a clear line of sight to that. The truck well, was behind the wall. She can't see through walls or whatever. Like for <laughs> I you don't, don't see her being able to see through walls, like. Well it, well, it smashed through a wall, didn't it? So that's how she's... That's how they're portraying it. Like, she looked, well, saw it, Mel said, and then it you, came through. Can you argue it's a hearing thing? It doesn't establish that at all. It just I think, shows I think the she, going, oh, she runs off a whole bunch of features. Doesn't she say something about hearing? Yeah, that's what I meant. I yeah, but... Okay, so there's some rumbling so, coming so. towards the wall. That must be... Yeah, she she clearly assumed very accurately from the sound alone what he was driving and what was about to happen. So <laughs> I don't remember her doing it again, but yeah, that's what she can do. Uh, so then there's a car chase, it's quite a long one. Got mm-hmm. um because Terminator. Yeah, and it, we could probably sum this up pretty fast. Actually, it's just like it just where it goes, lots of explosions, lots of crashes, and then. He works and runs away until the Terminator pretty much fucks them up completely. He kills the brother. I thought yeah. it was kind. Of, I thought they were gonna let him die in the terms of like he sits there and slowly bleeds out or something, but he just gets blown up because they <laughs> fucking drive into him. I was like, oh, rip, brother. <laughs> He's like, gone. A, like it's not horrendous enough. He has like a fucking sp- thing spiked through his chest. Like, yeah. go was... run away, and he just fucking crashes. Yeah. Into his yeah. Fair, that's probably a better death. Like, I would rather blow up than die slowly from a, a spike through my chest. Yeah, because no. the Terminator like suicide bombed him in that car. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought it was weird because it, it like disables the Terminator for a decent amount of time, and it's like, wow, he oh, really the, went all in on that. Uh, the Terminator crash. Sloppy as f- like, why would the Terminator just jump out the second he's about to do it? So he's like active. I think he's like really sloppy throughout it's this about, film, about, with, like um, his execution of how he's like oh, trying yeah, to kill every them. Every time, every time he tries to kill them, he like he doesn't get a clear shot. Don't bother about that. He's like, okay, I'm here. I'm near them. I'm just gonna fire my weapons in their general direction and hope it hits. <laughs> um, and that's totally not gonna broadcast that I'm here, and they're totally not gonna have time to escape. Honestly, I don't know why they just don't make the Terminators like be rigged up so like they could just self destruct and like make a huge explosion. And all they gotta do is like run like because and... that would make sense. Yeah, no, <laughs> idiot. Oh yeah, but they wouldn't. Yeah, they wouldn't be able to do anything. And then plus, there's no evidence. It's just oh yeah, well, it's all blown up. They leave no evidence. But um, there was a thing in the car chase where I feel like they cut out loads of stuff that it would have been good to see. Like they did the quick cut stuff. 
there was a point I remember where, um, oh, what's the fit? Grace was doing a maneuver like around, uh, like, uh, like the 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 entrance to the highway, and she was like, re- like, what was it, reversing up that or something? But they don't show her like turning into it. They just cut from like her being like uh, threatened by the bulldozer to her going up the ramp, and you don't actually see like the important steps between one to A to B. I have to see it again because I yeah, I'm not. <clears throat> like um, yeah, I, I'm I'm fairly confident they cut out like important things that you would need to see to understand like the flow of the action scene and that and it pissed me off. I was um, like, okay, I guess that's happening. Cool. So then, yeah, for me, I was gonna say just for me when that was happening, I was like more just disinterested because like, oh yeah, they they're just just well, they're just emulating another Terminator film because they can't think of to do anything else, you know, with with the with what material. No, they're what's gonna put a truck underwater. Like... It's gonna be great. What does it work with like so he forms up, you know, the 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 goo version forms up the Terminator himself. Mm-hmm. Then he has like clothes that like wave in the wind and stuff. I mean, this that's, applies mm, to the T one thousand, I guess, as well. But I'm just curious, how does that work? <laughs> yeah, it's um, special goo. Special goo. Yeah. <laughs> well, either way, uh, machine, son. they get close to <laughs> losing. <a> machine, son. <laughs> um. They're like one v oneing the Terminator without a car. The brother's dead, and then, as you saw in the trailer, Sarah Conair turns up, shoots him with a short gun until he falls off the bridge, and she RPGs or whatever's uh, whatever thing she has into, um, into the up. metal version rather than the vision. And then she, um, RPG, she RPGs metal. Yeah, he made it. In hospital, but good connection. Wi Fi. Um, <laughs> and so she looks over the edge, and he's like clearly impaled and burning. And she's like, throws a grenade down to him, and then she's like, I'll be back. <laughs> but, do you remember uh, that line from a good film? Yeah, they, they do this a lot in this film. They like they repeat lines, or they like you know, do variations of the line, or you know, and then it's like, mm. Is this a ho- is this a homage or a fucking take the piss? I can't tell. <laughs> and like, I, I hate to like nitpick, but as well, but what's with the delivery being like? I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's really, like, oh, that, well, that's that's her kind of like delivery for out, isn't it? It's just that kind of like she doesn't seem like she wants to be there. Mm. No. Yeah. Apparently she did, but I'd be willing to believe that she was well. Paycheck is a paycheck. <laughs> uh, can we? Can we? Like okay, I, I don't want to jump ahead, but can we acknowledge um, her sad face? Did that did that stick out to anyone <laughs> else? <laughs> the um, the, I, I turned to Alex about this. The scene where she she's moping because of uh, is it, <laughs> it's a bit of a jump ahead. We'll have to wait, but uh, I'll bring it up. I, I, I could. I'm sorry. I could just see like her making that face. It literally just that face looked to me like her director had just said to her, yeah. Dude, you're it, really sad. It looked like <laughs> no. Pepe, it looked like Pepe did. <laughs> you're the fucking <laughs> liar. <laughs> you're sitting on the log with Pepe offended. Yeah, it was just like, <laughs> why are you sad, Sarah? Just like, my son is dead. Uh. Um. Rags, everybody said, that, "How dude. was the movie? Not good. Bad. <laughs> it was a goddamn masterpiece." Um, so, uh, where were we? Yeah, so so Sarah goes and tries to kill him. She just like, I don't know what her plan was, because she knows what a T-1000 is like. She walks down to the guy who's like covered in goo <clears throat> and deforming whatever in an explosion. She just walks down there with a shotgun. Like, um, uh, yeah, yeah all right. Like, are, you, are you just planning just to shoot at it repeatedly? Like, yeah. Also, was that her, was that her kill box for this scenario? Because it's her <laughs> kill box. Oh yeah, <laughs> kill box. How I'm many times they have to say kill box? Uh, killing floor two. So this this is simultaneously like funny and stupid. So like, if someone turns up and saves your life while some homicidal maniacs try to kill you, just leaves their car. It's kind of like, I guess we'll take their car. Like I don't know why, why not. <laughs> and Sarah like looks up to the bridge and she's like, Ah oh, shit! Son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, I stole my car. Yeah, I, I think I think this is a total issue throughout the film. Like, is it like trying to be serious or not? Because 
not jumping ahead, but uh, it, it gets goofier. At yeah, times. The, the film really but, wants to have fun while also trying to be super important. Yeah, it I was just like, like goofy one liners. It, like it, it's goofy like scenes for like you know in in entirety. <laughs> My yeah. whole body is a weapon. I'm sorry about your shed. Um. Wait, what? Yeah. What? Yeah. What? I. What? Jay's reference what the what the the Rev Nine said about the shed. <laughs> oh yeah. Trying to figure Wait. out what's <laughs> other than just saying it's bad. <laughs> uh, so wait, did anyone else want to say anything? Because I was going to just move on to the next thing. Uh, no, I think I'm good. Sarah Connor at this point wasn't terrible yet, but we were getting like the the seeds of. Mm. So <laughs> like, we find she, out... she was she was in character as her terrible self. But you don't realize who she is. Uh, so so Sarah's just left. On the highway, while they drive to, um, they drive a to pharmacy. a pharmacy. Yeah, because the <laughs> not Terminator has been augmented. She's not a Terminator. She's a human who has augments. And like, what does that mean? It means that they're stronger and faster and have regenerative abilities and super senses. But they also die if they get into a fight for about five minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they, like they easier to build. A they expel yeah. so much energy because they got such a like high functioning metabolism or whatever that like if they're not if they haven't killed their terminator in like seven minutes or less, you know, they're dead kind of thing, you know. Now, in fairness to the film here, didn't it say that like they could essentially configure their metabolism so that they can for like any task that they predict they're gonna do? So she set it to be super high so that like because she predicted she was gonna kill it in the first five minutes or not at all. I don't know, but it doesn't <clears throat> go into it. It's, it's, it's just a little like handicap for for Grace's character, so that she can't always be doing the same thing every scene. You know, Listen, it didn't even really matter that much. Like, yeah, I was no, say. no. And they raided the pharmacy, and all the drugs that she dumps into herself is like the most confusing shit ever. Like, I feel like <laughs> this is like a cocktail of everything. Why <laughs> she needs that specifically, as opposed to like you know, if, if it's energy, why not food? You know, why not just pop to mcdonald's or some shit you know did they actually establish the he chose for it to be that way because she hoped to kill the terminator within the five minutes i think so i'm gonna have to watch it again to make sure because i don't um, remember that completely but legally. I, might have I don't I, I don't know I, I'm, I swear it was more like the element of surprise you know it's a it's a you know you, you spring on them and you, you you attack them and you you just do everything you know you, yeah you unleash she, she your best moves straight away to like get rid of it <laughs> She has retarded, retarded either she shot. decided either she made that decision or someone else made it for her, but someone made it. Well, it's retarded anyway. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's, she's doing a fucking defensive mission. She's she needs to escort Danny and protect her, but she can only do it for five minutes if she doesn't find yeah, like, uh, the uh, fucking uh, things. And then Danny, who is woefully unprepared for any of this, then has to protect her. It's like what a fucking rescue mission. <laughs> And like from my perspective, I think they got it backwards. It's like, oh, we need to be at short bursts of powerful energy. It's like, no, 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 long bursts of medium energy. <laughs> are you are you yeah. ready? Are you ready for people to argue that um, Danny knew exactly what was going to happen when she sent Grace back? So it all makes sense because Danny knew that it was all going to work out when she did it like that. Wait, say that again. So Danny, future Danny, remembers all of this happening, right? He. So people are, compl- are going to argue that everything that happens makes sense because Danny knew um, that it all worked out. So she sent Grace with all of the stupid handicaps because she knew that that would make oh, sense. Oh, well, that would work out like that. I'm not following. Sorry. So basically, what he's saying is that um, as much as you can say it's stupid that Grace may have been sent with all of these handicaps, uh, you can't say it's that stupid because uh, Danny knew that it would work because she lived it. You know. Oh, well, fucking just. But we'll I would argue we'll... that that's dubbed because fucking still ends up dying, Grace. So it's like maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> send her with another power source? Yeah, a backup power source. That would be pretty good. Or send her with that device? Well, she can't. She can't. Why not? Like, um, Why not? Shove it into that... a badger. Sho- shove it in where? Shove it into a badger. A badger? Yep. I, that's not what I heard basically, the first time, but I, that would probably also work. This is my... The, shove it into a badger is one of my biggest criticisms of Terminator as a whole. Shove it into a hole? Would you, would, no, no. no, shove it into a badger. <laughs> a badger hole. Yes. The badger's hole. So, think about this, Jay. 
you're a you're you're the Terminators, and you're like, right, let's send back Arnie in Terminator One. Hey, should we send him with one of our advanced ray weapon guns? And it's like, no, 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 we can't do that because the thing has to be covered in skin. And you know, they could just generate the skin that they have been for Terminators this whole time and just hold like he has literally a skin handbag and you put the gun in there. I'm just imagining but, like a skin coated gun at this point. But, like, yeah. like I'm putting it out there. You maybe you don't have time. You go, okay, grab a badger. Grab a badger and just shove it into its ass. There you go, the badger will protect. It needs badger to be a badger, thing. okay? Shove it into a beaver. Yeah, a beaver would work. A lot of different mm. things would work, honestly. <laughs> like it, it, isn't it just funny the fact that when the Terminators made the, uh, well, the Terminators that infiltrate with the uh, uh, human skins or whatever, they made that and then made a time machine, and then it just so happened that they had to have human skin Terminators to work the time machine, otherwise they would have been fucked. <laughs> otherwise they'd just be like, why can't we work it? We c anyone walks in, they just disappear, <laughs> you know? Rodenberg loves this idea. Yes, he would. <laughs> he would have done it. Um... But yeah, basically what I'm just saying is like, oh, this device will literally <laughs> just fucking kill him. Oh, beat. Take it with you. It's like, nah. <laughs> okay. Uh, what do they say that the EMP is going to... You know, we'll have to get... <laughs> um, mm. but yeah, I think it's really stupid that her handicap is that she literally dies on access to this miracle drug. The Which, by the way, I think whoever just said it is, is right. They could have taken that out of the whole movie, and I don't think it makes much of a no, yeah, yeah, because she almost immediately gets new medicine. She has, right she has the medicine throughout the rest of the movie. Yeah. Yeah, I, thought, I thought the payoff was going to be the end, where they're, they're really struggling, and Sarah's got the busted arm to a degree, and she, I was like, oh, this will be how they have to survive without... You know when they're like, you go, you're the only one who can even throw a punch to uh, Danny. I was like, oh, mm -hmm. this will be it. But then she gets a rejection and she dies. Yeah. Like, so you like, forgot oh. that the, the right plane. Um, I assume it's like a rewrite or something, and they just couldn't be bothered to dig it out because it literally serves no purpose to the story. I mean, they even have her keep like the syringes. They, she keeps having those for contrived reasons. Like Arnie mm. is like, oh, you dropped this. Um, <laughs> you like, forgot this in the plane. And and like oh, what, the, the guys the who searched where, it scene, didn't take it yeah, off her. Yeah, the scene where she gets detained, like someone oh, that, that, literally that comments on so it, like oh, you really fucked up this search, didn't you? Look, she's got two syringes. Oh wow, I wonder if she has those because how the plot not, needs her to. How do you not search for that when it's <laughs> right, people right. crossing the border? Jump, jump it a bit ahead. But if you go back to when Grace has her treatment in the uh, hotel, so they 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 get a no, they get a motel um, because that's. In every Terminator film, too. Yeah. Uh, what, what, what's their solution to treat this fucking augmented <laughs> human? Ah, uh, not not a ice, not an ice bath, but an, an ice bed bath. Ice bed. Yeah. yeah. I don't. But have you seen the bathtub? Uh, yeah, and then they dump her in there or on there, and then they just inject it with every fucking piece. Well, every um, yeah, with with needles for that. The, uh, That's so pharmacy. stupid. Uh, yeah, I don't. Like... Yeah. <laughs> We're just, we're, just, we're just assuming these dosages are like, well, we know, oh, yeah, this one killer is like, oh, let's just give it a little bit of everything. Yeah, if, they're, if they're like normal medicines that people take, it probably won't kill her, but. I bet mean, insulin is in there. You can definitely yeah. overdose on that. Well, don't oh, give well, her enough to overdose on. Like, didn't she just shove it all in, though? <laughs> yeah. And the path of that is like, what's, what's insulin for? Oh, yeah, to lower her blood sugar. It's like, what? Did she have like a really heavy meal? No, she just fucking. If anything, she's expelled her energy. She needs she needs to eat, not fucking lower her sugar levels even further. <laughs> no, I don't know how that works. It doesn't. It no, not, well, no, it doesn't. And fucking neither. Well, they didn't care to explain how it worked because they just they eyeballed it and they just well they just worked because at the next scene she's walking, yeah. and it's just like you know, oh, we saved you, ta da! <laughs> <laughs> Crisis averted. Yeah, uh, Sarah turns up. I don't really know how she found them. The coordinates. No, she, she knew where the time travel happened. Tax, which tax message on it. Then. No, 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 no. I'm talking about when she turns up at the pharmacy. Oh yeah, that. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can we? Can I just bring up? Right. What would change in this film if you removed Sarah completely? Um. I mean, plot-wise, nothing really. You just have yeah. to. All of her fighty moments have to go to somebody else. Yeah, yeah, she's okay, what a passenger. Character-wise. I mean, I, I'm sure someone would argue that Sarah goes on some form of a journey in this film. No, she doesn't. 
She doesn't have a fucking arc. Mm. I guess we'll get to that. <laughs> we she doesn't grow up at all. She talks about the tropes of the film that she expects to be in, and then the film subverts it by not doing that, and then that's it. But she's and a she, passenger in this the, film. The she film makes her stupid so that it can be like, hey, no, we're clever. Sarah's mm. being dumb. We're clever. Shut also, up. she says uh, she can't be tracked because she keeps her phone in a packet of crisps. And then uh, yeah. throws Danny's phone out of the window. Yeah, which wouldn't prevent that from being tracked. No, sorry. Uh, I Doesn't Arnie say at one point that like keeping it in a packet of crisps doesn't do shit? Uh, no, he says so. if you keep it in, the, in, a, in a crisp bag, keep it in a crisp bag. That's what he says. Well, the implication being that he can track her every time she... Pretty yeah, and send, well, and send her text messages to, you know, give her, well, to steer into her path or whatever. Fair mm. enough. I didn't know that foil could actually do what she says it does. Well, yeah. Are we assuming that it can? Are we assuming that the film is right here? I guess... Because I don't think we should assume that. Look, I guess it, it would just well, be a quick Google we could find out. Well, 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 well I guess that's listen, 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 I can explain it. So... When you've got like aluminium or silver in the walls, like for insulation or other things, that can affect with the mobile signal, which is why, like in certain buildings with like in certain parts with walls like that, you can get well, you can fuck with your signal. Um, so yeah, if you just entomb a phone in that, it would do that. So, okay, now can we talk about how they characterize um, Sarah Connor as a complete asshole for no reason in this film? Don't you get it? She's lost John. She has nothing to live for okay, except killing two so, okay, She's a hardened so, badass. Okay, so, okay, okay, okay. Hand me your phone. Cool. You throw it out the window. Oh, I keep mine in a chip packet, which I have with me, but yours needed to be chucked out the window because fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> this is, it's a fair point. Why couldn't she just fucking buy another packet of crisps? <laughs> well, put it in the same packet of crisps. Well, crisps yeah, this this uh, packet's really are bigger than a them. phone. I might argue that Danny was the target. Sarah is just the grizzled vet who is not well, isn't is off the grid. It's a little bit riskier to but, have. But if it if it works, it. then either she believes it works or she doesn't. Like, come on. Well, after a certain point, what does she need a mobile fo phone for anyway? When her family is dead, and well, it is technology. Who knows what they could use I, it for? Well, but yeah, then, as, a, as a general oh. tool, I get it. I, I get it, but it's like it's not. It's not like anyone else didn't have it. I'm, I'm sorry. If, if something has just come to mind, and I feel like I, I feel like we won't remember to talk about it if we do this all chronologically. Can we talk about when the, the notepad Terminator... for? <laughs> oh, that's a good point. I forgot about that. Do the notepad. I'll just write this in the notepad. He didn't make then... it. He didn't, he didn't say it for our fucking entertainment. <laughs> so um, we we are graced with a flashback where it's post-apocalypse and they're carrying a general guy. The safety, and then a bunch well, of been, terminators yeah. blow up everybody. A general woman to safety. Oh my goodness, a whammons. <laughs> How you doing? Hello. What's oh, up, hello. fellas? We uh, we I noticed you film. I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, just last <laughs> Yeah, we watched it yesterday <laughs> in the big screen. It was so worth the money. Yeah. Oh when... god, I feel sorry but... for your wallets right now. But we <laughs> had each other. It this. was fine. Yeah, we laughed. I had all <laughs> three people with me in the in the screening of this film that just totally. came out. You guys were so are so lucky. I didn't laugh once in this. Well, no, actually, that's not that's not true. I did. Not even at the <laughs> one time. I no, I did laugh at something, but I'm not gonna. I don't know if you guys got into that part oh, of the movie yet, so I'm not gonna say what. We're it quite is. early, so you'll be all right. But yeah, we are going like. Well, I I explain a scene, then we fucking rip into it again. So, yeah. Um, yeah. The yeah. So what we're on right now is that first flashback where she she saves General Man, whoever, and she gets blown up doing it, and she's covered in like blood and shit, and then she's like, I I volunteer for the augments or something, and you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I just the thing I found funny about it, I was like, is that how that works? Like whenever you're close to death, you could be like, oh fuck it, augments. You're like it sounds like a thing that people would have to be in good shape to get, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was well, so out of nowhere. Like, it's a thing they should just fucking do anyways because it's very fucking effective. Well cool. yeah. <laughs> it, should yeah it, was, it should just fight be fight Terminators harsh. and they get attacked by yeah. Red Knights regularly, apparently. Because we, say, we, yeah, we yeah. let to let to believe that they're like in a crisis scenario right now, and they have the technology to make augmented humans. Don't you think like a fuck ton of people are like, yeah, fuck yeah, I want to be augmented. <laughs> Hello. 
Well, do you like as well that I thought they were going for a sort of like there's just this injection or something and it fucks with your, your biology completely and people only do it when they're on their deathbed or something. But it's like, no, no. They cut to like a sterile room. Everything's calm. She's she's like, okay, in terms of there's not blood everywhere and she's she's having this surgery performed. It's like, oh. So, so what what about that explosion made her finally go, that's it, augments, blah, blah. <laughs> just like, it's just, I, I don't know. I swear I don't remember the scene of the surgery. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. right after. It's like uh, just flashes of like a doctor looking at her, and then flashing looking at her on a table. Yeah, they have no, like they no, have I, would, I would almost, I would almost swear that that scene wasn't in my cut that I saw, but like I don't Maybe. see why that would happen. So I guess I'm she's just, such just a, remembering she's, it. She's such a blank slate as a character. You don't understand half the shit she fucking does. I, I'll agree mm. with that. Uh, also, what's with the Rev Nines in the flashback having like tentacles? Oh, right. <laughs> our our was... guy doesn't have tentacles. Yeah, like, our guy should have tent. Well, I guess our guy is mostly disguised as a human for, like, a lot of the time, but that's Whatever not, he's not to not know? have tentacles the rest of the time. He handicaps himself for it's like, reasons. They were, he, they were really yeah. effective as well. Yeah, no, they, they, they stabbed... That's what led her to getting the augments or whatever. It's like, stabbed by tentacles. Getting, getting the augments. It's very, well, that's what I mean, that's all we know about it. It's just like, how oh, are the augments? I'm augmented now. And it's like, it makes you OP enough to be able to kill Terminators. But only for five minutes, and then you die. Do you think that's why they have that, <laughs> the only five minutes thing, is to try and make us go, oh, that's why not everyone gets it. That's why. But there's literally no plot significance to not everyone having it. Yeah. I don't think, I don't think they and need to If, if they said, oh, everyone in the future is augmented, it would be fine. Yeah, even then, we still believe that it's a post-apocalypse. Because <laughs> you still what I can. What I can go ahead. Uh, I was like, it's, it's much more problematic to send back someone who needs constant <laughs> care and constant <laughs> like sustenance. Like, well, yeah, if I'm doing this, I'm going to die in five minutes. They did a better job sending back a regular human thirty fucking years ago. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> he didn't need. Like, oh god, you know what? If I don't, if I don't have my blood sugar up. Like I'm gonna die, uh, it, you know. I, it's, I think someone give me an apple or something, so I can fight this Terminator. Well, like I think we'd all agree that the kill for the the Rev Nine goes to Arnie mostly, and then it also goes a little oh, bit yeah. to the core, the power core, which isn't mm -hmm. necessarily got anything to do with Augment Girl. <laughs> like, it's just a power <laughs> core. <laughs> like, let's, let's look at it from a different uh, perspective. If you can with the augmentation. What are, what are they using in their in their future, where everything is fucked to bring them back to life or to functionality. I don't think they have like a lot of antibiotics well, it, and Yeah, it's surprising they have this shit. kind of technology. And and yeah, they're supposed to be able to maintain people with all these kinds of medicines in a post apocalypse. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> like that, that could have been like a one sentence thing. It's like, oh yeah, we can't use them all around because we don't have enough meds to keep them alive. Yeah, but when they did the whole surgery with the well, when they did the whole surgery of, with Grace's augments, it like it, you saw like the resources they had. Like it, it, it didn't look apocalyptic at all. It looked no. fucking, like a dystopian future. <laughs> yeah, you're right. They have no, like they, spider fly things that they land they somewhere. They, this is it. They, they have lots of like little things like this, but they don't really like add up to anything. It's just like flavoring that they don't really care to explain or give a fuck about. Yeah. Because like on, on on one hand they say everything just stopped working at some point, like the fucking plane crash. Yeah, on, on day there. one it's like everything turns off apparently. Yeah, instead of nukes being launched, that's day two. And then day three is war. Right. Yeah, day three is. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Everyone's cut the power. Who did it? Oh fuck it, let's just kill everyone. Good job. Because. <laughs> yeah. Um, what we're saying is nothing makes sense in this movie. <laughs> can, we, can we talk about the fact? Can we talk about the fact that they think it's easier to cut people open and fill them with uh, robot technology, and that apparently that's more that's easier and more effective than building robots. Well, I just the T eight hundred, which is apparently extremely obsolete now, like way more of a threat to Mister Evil than than our augmented person because. You can't even survive one fight, win or lose. Like, how crap yeah. is that? Well, yeah. Wham. <laughs> Say when? I said <laughs> wham. Oh. <laughs> I just want to send a fucking kamikaze bomber 
in that general direction. Yeah, no, probably anyway. more just, just run in and blow him up. You yeah. know, job done. Why no, don't send her no. with a, an EMP inside her? Well, I, you know, EMPs aren't <laughs> like they can't be that hard to come by. Can can they? I mean, if they get shot right away every time, like but you can literally be... build an EMP. <laughs> you can literally find a tutorial to build an EMP emitter. Not everyone has their major. Uh, don't yeah, just get a microwave and just throw it at them. <laughs> throw a Hang microwave right. and a, put a grenade guys, inside a guys, microwave. Guys, guys, you're using too much of your brain. It's easier to no. send back a gender <laughs> androgynous lesbian <laughs> diabetic with five minutes of life. That that's <laughs> that's how you do it. That's the, that's intelligence. That 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 is that's what's gonna win wars. So um. They, as 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 Alex mentioned, they put her on a bed. They pour ice over her, and and they just say, "Don't put her in the bathtub because it sucks. Bathtub is shit. It's dirty." Okay. <laughs> um, and then they just inject, and the girl is like, "How do you know how much to give her?" And she's just like, eh, and "Gives her all of it." <laughs> how do you she know how much she, give she her needs? All of it. She just I don't guesses, know. Doesn't she? Well, that's the yeah. She just guesses an amount. Yeah, and, it's just and then like, it cuts. okay. Yeah, and then it cuts to the next scene, and Grace is walking around, just like, yeah, yeah Grace is I'm fine. Better. Not to mention, she yeah. pulls a gun on Grace, and she's like, talk. Talk fast. And talk oh, yeah. fast. And she immediately <laughs> fucking disarms her and puts her in, like, <laughs> like a rested like, position. She's like, you want to hurt no lady, would you? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it, like, how retarded is Sarah? It's like, yes, I'm gonna put a gun to a person while I'm a meter away from them, they can e e easily grab it off me. She doesn't even fire. That's such a trope, though. That's I, I hate that trope. Yeah. Of, I'm gonna uh, normally. This is the thing. Like, um, it's not Oops, um, a trope because they need people to be able to disarm other people. It's just like, oh yeah, in movies, people will always hold a gun like directly to someone's head, like point blank. Even that's fucking dumb. Yes. And it's just a flip of the coin whether or not the person actually disarms them or not. Because apparently, people can't think. Oh, this is a ranged weapon I'm holding. So something that was changed because I was waiting for it. She says that I stopped Judgment Day in the trailer. She doesn't say that in the movie. Yeah, I remember. That. I say we that in the movie. Oh yeah, you're right. They they, 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 that happens a lot in films nowadays where they they cut out trailer shit and it just completely, well, doesn't allude to anything. Then <laughs> wasn't there like lines about them having a dark fate in the trailer that didn't make it into the movie? Like yeah, they they I definitely so. didn't actually. They they mentioned obviously the word fate, but they never like said dark fate whatsoever. Well, it's like in in the trailers, I swear I remember them showing like um, I saw it was like Sarah or someone saying um, um, oh we stopped Skynet, but the machines still come. We still have the same dark fate, and that line just wasn't in the movie. Yeah, probably because ugh, well, that was a shit line. <laughs> so probably shit because line. Uh, it's retarded. What movies are retarded. <laughs> 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 Rebellions are built on hope. No, oh, so the, uh, the 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 fucking apartments. No, not apartment. Uh, whatever it is, motel scene. Does I remember anything from that? Because I, I, I think again? she Sorry. like Sarah explains her history. Oh yeah, she says that. Um, I'm gonna say like at this point in the film, she says all she does these days is hunt terminators, and so yeah, as drink. a viewer, you'd be like, what the fuck. Hunt Terminators? How does that- how does any of that work? We'll get to that how a little bit later. How many fucking come back? That's like... We'll, we'll get to that when fucking Arnie drops- fucking law dumps us. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of law dumping in this film and it's yeah. so tizzy. Like, you listen to all of it like, none of that makes any sense. Stop it. <laughs> um, but yeah, they decide that the three of them need to, uh, get to these mysterious coordinates, and in order to do that, they have to pass over the Mexican border, and to do that, they have to uh, get to a friend. Yeah, but how do they find that out? With future shit. Oh, right, yeah, so um, <laughs> basically, there's coordinates tattooed onto Grace, or not Terminator person. Apparently, yeah. they just, they, they just, you just put them on there. But simultaneously, Sarah explains that she gets texts from somebody who tells her where Terminators are and she kills them. Like, she goes to a place, the Terminators spawn in, and she kills them. Um, that's just a thing Sarah's been doing this whole time. She's been spawn camping then. Yeah, it's kind of cheap, much. Sarah. Kind of cheap. Fucked up. Um, okay. and th that actually explains how she found them. But not entirely. Like, it was weird for me because she said she gets there... two coordinates, right? So one for evil Terminator, one for good Terminator. Did she turn up to either of them? 
No. Oh. She was at a random bridge that was like, I guess, somewhere like slightly near where they turned up. But <laughs> like she didn't spawn. Late. She didn't spawn kill either of those two, and she also managed to turn up at the right time to, well, the last moment there's, to save him. There's loads of dumb shit about Sarah. Like I don't understand any of that. And but okay, yeah. So they decide that's where they're going. But Sarah says, you know, it's encrypted the texts, and so it's like, oh, we can't trace whoever's sending them then. But. Our helpful Terminator, non-Terminator, oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> he puts the phone, she takes the back of the phone out and she puts it on her hand and then Sarah goes, what are you doing? She says, future shit. I love that line. It's like, <laughs> so, it's, <laughs> I, uh, fucking screenwriting 101. <laughs> they yeah, put, do, do, you remember, do you remember when Kyle Reese in the first one made uh, pipe bombs and he explained the whole method behind making them and uh, the all resources? the right materials and you can do it? Yeah. Yeah. That was a good character <laughs> with intelligence. Can, can you imagine fun. if uh, he it saw was also that a better movie? Yeah, oh no, of course, but can you imagine Sarah saw him doing that, making pipe bombs, and she asked him what he's doing, he went, future shit. Well, do you remember, um... <laughs> future shit? <laughs> do you remember when we watched Shaft last night? Uh, oh. I recommend. It's, it's fun. Good song. Yeah, it's really good. Shaft? Yeah. It, yes. Oh. There's, a, there's a, a moment in the film where there's a character who's, you know, cool and aloof, and a character who's a bit nerdy. The nerdy character's like, I gotta do some some hacking, but obviously he doesn't say that. He he says a whole bunch of words that some of them would just never be applicable to actually. Doing he, it. Yeah. He, used, he used quantum. Quantum literally. while hacking. So like, <laughs> what I assume is in the script, they would have written computer shit, and then an actual person to redraft would have written in, oh yeah, uh, the quantum field needs to be accessed through the the binary matrix. <laughs> Something like that. I feel like in this script they wrote future shit, somebody will change that, and then nobody did. <laughs> <laughs> Chef just goes, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay, future shit. Um, future and yeah, like, so... I feel like in this film though they have the mentality of, hey, you know what's cool? Bad future words. Shit. Yeah. Like every also, scene, that, like, this like, year, every scene that they want to see, they make seem cool, they like, they put a fuck or a shit in it. Oh, that's, oh yeah. well, that's mostly Sarah, isn't it? Sarah's just going, fuck shit, fuck shit. Yeah, she's, uh, she's the crotchety old grandma who doesn't want to be there. You and that's metal Odyssey. motherfucker. Oh, yeah, that oh, line. Yeah. Like, the movie, the movie thought that line was so cool. Like, it's like, oh, she called the Terminator a metal motherfucker. Like, oh, we, we spent so long thinking of that. Well, I was so offended by that line. The way I would sum up Sarah Connor in this film is she's the cartoon version of Sarah Connor from T2, where it's like, what was Sarah Connor? She's like, she shot guns. Oh, yeah, okay, she mm -hmm. shot... She said badass stuff. Okay. <laughs> like, what else did she do? It's like, that was pretty She legit. was irrational. She was an angry oh, yeah, person. She, she made jokes. Like, no. And now she just drinks. Yeah. <laughs> Until she blacks out. Yeah, it's funny. She's like, I hunt Terminators and get blackout drunk. It's like, that's all you could do for her, really. <laughs> <laughs> I bet the writers are proud. Like, we did it. Um, yeah, that brings us to the next lore dump, by the way, because they're on the train and he starts oh, explaining. Oh, we're already on the train. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Yeah, well, in fairness, that's only like before the halfway mark, I think, the train. Yeah. I mean, there's like a like a like a span of things where nothing really happens. They're just talking and lore dumping shit on us. Like, can we do something, movie please? I'm bored. <laughs> Since we're like to the train park, can we talk about the fact that Sarah Connor apparently just goes random places with like enough artillery to fucking like take on a small army, <laughs> uh, and just doesn't get arrested? And apparently, it's just... under the grid. It says off the grid. Yeah, yeah. And th this is the point where I'm like, okay, fucking what? She's like. We're gonna need a way into the U.S. Like you don't have one of those. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, how? Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, if, she... if fucking you get a text saying for John, it's in the U.S. You were just like, oh fuck. Well, I guess I can't go there. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, it's the world's going to shit. <laughs> I guess we should explain that before the reveal. But each of these texts that explain where Terminators are spawning in, uh, she gets a message on her phone that ends with for John. Like, for John. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, then then Grace, uh, not Terminator person, explains that, um, what, what is the law dump on the train? She, she's just saying that, like, the world fell apart because, oh, it's, right, it's the Legion one, isn't it? So Skynet's not yeah. a thing anymore, Skynet did die, but unfortunately, one day, with no warning, everything just got fucked. Bones, technology, everything, nothing works anymore. And then the, the following day... AI oh, no, hang on, yes. And then... And the following day, everyone nuked each other. And then the following day, everyone was at war. 
And no, no, there was there were no nukes this time. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. sure she said that there was nukes. I don't think yeah, so. Said... No, it was it was the nukes. It was um, day one, like the phones and the electricity and all. Everything stopped working. I remember it because of how stupid it was. Um, <laughs> day, day one, all of the power went out. Everything stopped working. Day two, the nukes were fired. And then she said, and then day three, it was war. Okay. She mean with the Terminators? Or... <laughs> she mentioned Russia. So, so, okay. so it, I'm, just, I'm just, my thought is, okay, so the nukes were fired. That wasn't war. That wasn't <laughs> day war. Why, why did nukes were war? All of the world's nukes are fired. That's not World War. No. Um, the the day after that, everyone's like, oh, fuck, we should do something about this. <laughs> it's so lame. And it's because they don't want to explain it. They're just like, ah, oh, it's Legion. It's not Skynet, I swear. <laughs> Legion. And Such a gay name. <laughs> like, as we talked about in the beginning, <laughs> the only like reason... AIDS Legion. AIDS Legion. <laughs> okay, that was a little much. They, um, the only reason they did this right, was because they weren't allowed to bring back Skynet. They were like, Skynet's big gay, we can't bring it back again. Yeah, this is a future that's being killed. Um, we need something different. It's called not Skynet. You may as well not be called it. It's the exact fucking same thing. They have the they, same... They, they, <sighs> They, yeah. they have the exact same design for the faces. Yeah. They, 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 they don't. It doesn't yeah, they're, even call, they're called hunter killers. The fucking big yeah. scary. It's like you yeah. can't call the same exact. How is this not Skynet? Yeah, is it? They the exact same the thing. same designs that they had in the filing cabinet for Skynet. They mm. just took them and they made. Because I actually you know. think that would have been cool to change up the Terminator's look with these new models, but they're the same oh. fuckers. No, but then yeah, they wouldn't sell as many tickets. The most updated thing is the. Um, spikes come out of the like the, the tentacle well, the ones, but that yeah, just makes yeah. sense. Like, uh, the, uh, remind me of the things <laughs> from uh, Edge of Tomorrow, if I repeat or whatever. Why did well, someone in the chat just no say real, transnet? There's no real consistency between the technologies, <laughs> like throughout all the films. They just it's just whatever they want to check in for special yeah. effect bullshit. Um, Legion versus Skynet versus Alien versus Predator. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, I'll watch it. Uh. So they so have that, that. I'm surprised that Terminator vs. Alien or Terminator vs. Predator doesn't exist at this point. Comic book form it does. Yeah. Oh, of course. Uh, so, Evil Terminator, we see him in some kind of just data center of some kind, and he's oh, killed oh, everyone there, I, and he just oh, digs his gonna, hands into wires, and he finds them. This is, this is the I, part I had in my notes. This is what I had in my notes. Hang on. We, we did forget one other little bit that happened on the train scene, which oh, yeah, was... Explaining oh, yeah. why the Terminator is after Danny because Danny at this point is like finally calmed down for five seconds to go, why me? And then Sarah it's runs her mouth off, going, "It's because of your son. Your son's gonna be the killer." Dude, she goes as the... far as saying, "It's they your don't... womb." Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. They don't. They they your couldn't bro broadcast it any harder. It's like literally, you don't fucking matter. You're a piece of shit woman. It's gonna be a man. It's your, your son, son that takes the. Baby. It's so fucked up for Sarah to be saying it because, like, Sarah, you're the reason John is even able to do anything in the original films. That's why you're so important. That's why everyone loves Sarah's the shit out of you. Sarah's literally been there for a Terminator coming after her and a Terminator coming after John. She knows that Terminators don't just come after the parents. She's I mean, lost brain cells. Yeah, and, and she's she's like being her son is dead, and she's being like, it's not even about you, it's about your son. He's gonna take all yeah, the she, credit. Yeah, she's like, what she, the she's fuck, bad. Sarah? <laughs> she, she's broken and relishing in it. It's weird. It is they really made, weird. It's probably the weird made well, Sarah... one of the worst parts for her. They made Sarah sexist so that the <laughs> film could go, hey, look, the film isn't sexist. We're yeah, progressive. Yeah. <laughs> Sarah was wrong because she's a misogynozzle. I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All, I mean, all, all of Sarah's development, all like learning how to fight, making sure she knew people who knew how to fight so she can sponge off their knowledge and then and then passing all that down to her son, that doesn't mean shit. Because, uh, you know, she just gave birth to him. Like, she, uh, no he's effort. like, the entire <laughs> reason John is who he is, and she's like, John's gonna take all the credit. It's like, Sarah, oh, yeah, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, because all her partners were like ex-army guys or whatever, it? like, she deliberately hooked up with these kind of people for this reason. Right. It's not, it wasn't grandma. It wasn't just a fucking montage in one film that she immediately became this woman. It was a whole history behind, well, after the first one. What a cunt. And they do the thing. <laughs> they're like... <laughs> you bitch! They do the thing where, like, a, a big question's been asked. Why her? And then she cuts in with that, and then our, our not-terminator hero I... says, I really want to punch you in the face. 
And then, like, the scene ends. It's like, do you think so maybe, did, did you the think question maybe get answered? Danny's gonna, do you think maybe Danny's gonna be the important person and not someone she gives birth to? Her? Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I well. guess we'll have to f find out as we progress. So, then comes the scene uh, that I know Jay's gonna want to talk about. I'll just set you up, Jay. I'll, I'll tee you up. Oh, hang on. What is this? So, they're talking to the guy who's gonna help them. This is the fly. They're gonna they're gonna help him get a, get to where they need to go in a rush, and he's he's starting to be like, "Hey, man, you guys are acting weird. Like, what is going on here? What do these two that you're traveling with? Do they do something evil?" And oh, so yeah, you might cousin. think it's Danny's cousin, the person helping. You, him. you might think uh, you try something like, "Oh, you know, we got in trouble with the police for X Y reason." Uh, something that makes you sound like you're doing good, you but you've broken a you law. You would lie, you know. You, you, would, you would lie, yeah. You wouldn't say, "Oh, we're being hunt, we're we're being hunted by a machine from the future." That's yeah, not which, what you would say to a human person. Which is what they say to this man, and um, obviously he doesn't <laughs> take it that well. But then Jay, take the floor. <laughs> I, I can't do it justice. I'm sorry. This is like this. This is the moment. Like, remember, this is unrelated to what he's saying. Remember, she just since, does it. Since yeah, she just decides to do this. Um, watching comedies, I don't think I've laughed this hard in a cinema for a long time. Uh, and I had to, I had to try and control my laughter to out of consideration for the other three people in the cinema. Oh, that's how so, you view. Uh, she fucking. Has just she's just playing with a knife that she has for some reason, um, and then there's a fly buzzing around her. So in slow motion, she slices the fly perfectly in half with her knife. Because uh, and then everyone sees it and is like, "Holy shit, that was amazing!" Instead, of, what just happened? That well, wait, there was a fly. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, our eyesight is as slow as the slow motion they're using in the movie. Every, everyone saw the final cut of the film instead of actually what they would have seen. See, I think what would be funnier if she did that, and then the cousin just got a fly swan and got one like just whacked me on the table. And he was like, "Yeah, I could do it too." It was like, <laughs> well, yeah. so she does that, and the guy like does this little face movement, like, huh. Impressed, and, then, and then that's he it. believes that she's a she Japanese. She must be a machine. It literally <laughs> cuts like seconds after that to them on their way. It's like that. That's it. <laughs> you and, cut um, a fly in half. You must be from the future. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, for reference, because uh, I think we said this off stream. Um, yeah. This yeah. scene is very much doing the exact same thing as a certain scene from T two, where Miles Dyson had to be convinced. That they were, there was a machine from the future that came back to warn them about how they're going to get killed. How Skynet has to be stopped ahead of time because it's a horrible thing. And you're like, okay, how do you do that? And they explain it to him, and he doesn't really believe it. So then uh, John gives him a knife, Arnie, and says, uh, Show him. And he degloves himself and shows his, uh, well, his exoskeleton uh, underneath. His mechanical hand. Endoske yeah. Endoskeleton. Endoskeleton, yeah. yeah. Uh,. And he's, he's just, it zooms up, there's blood all over it, he's just like, listen to me very carefully. It's just like, yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> right, well, I mean, it's, 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 it's abrupt and to the point, and it's perfect. It's, yeah, it's a compelling yeah. argument. <laughs> I'd believe it. I'd be like, oh, you're a metal man, okay, you're from the future. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's no bullshit trickery this is, going on. You, you, you hit a knife <laughs> you with a, a fly in half. You, you hit a fly with a knife, it's like, okay. Strange. I mean, luck. Can we talk about how cool the movie thought that was? Like, it was yeah. like it's like it may have had like a sound effect. I yeah. think it might have actually. I don't remember. It must how have been film? How it, it, imagine if imagine if they did some shit like that in T two. Like, oh, I will show you I'm a Terminator. I can stop say <laughs> onions very fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can show you. Where's the flies? You have any flies? <laughs> There are no flies. We are out of options. Kill him. <laughs> Watch how quickly I can make a salad. You have a badger. <laughs> Do you um, have a badger? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, next up, I, I want to highlight this because it really bothered me. Do you remember um, Evil Terminator Man? Was He kills everybody in this like security booth, and then he starts keeping this track of our true. heroes while also... Like informing the American whatever. Yeah, so he's on the they're on the uh, U.S. Mexico border, and the and he he's masquerading as one of the border patrol uh, officers or whatever. I don't get 
how he managed to stay in there for that long without alerting anybody when all the other people are dead. Like, you'd think that the oh, consoles yeah. being unmanned would have some kind of... something. No, no, those people literally don't do anything. Well, <laughs> every time... Uh, <laughs> every time somebody came in to check on them, he just stabbed them into you, but, oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> the other problem, okay, though... No. There's there something else in that seen... scene that's really stupid. I don't yeah. know if anyone else noticed it. Oh, go for it. Um, he interfaces oh, well. with the computer, not by plugging himself into the computer or anything, it's such a keyboard, but by yeah. pulling the keys <laughs> out of the keyboard and putting his like liquid goo into the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, yeah, he, he feels the Rick. internet. He, um, Why does yeah, every he... movie value the keyboard more than anything else? It's like, go for the fucking CPU. <laughs> Yeah. Go to the <laughs> Even the hard drive would make more sense. <laughs> like, at least the first time he does it, he fucking puts his gooey hands into a fucking server. Yeah. He yeah, does that's that before, doesn't he? He, like, it's like they understand it, and then they're like, no, it's the keyboard that matters. The keyboard. <laughs> I just want to mm. pull the USB out, and he's like, hey. It's like, it's like <laughs> Apple one as well. It's like, it's the. It's, oh, I hate it. I hate like, this film. One I'm weakness. Sorry. Also, you probably haven't seen uh, the, the bad, bad inator. For like 50 20 minutes up until this point because we were doing I don't I don't mind that I that much whatever he cuz the thing is he can't be that interesting of a villain cuz he's a machine which you can try and address going forward but that is mm -hmm. that is the way it works in Terminator and Terminator 2 they they can't have an interesting journey or personality all he is no. is just he's coming it. I want. I want yeah, to then, but they are trying to give him a personality at some point they, they, they his whole body yes. is a weapon <laughs> but wh whatever you your shed Whatever he's normally on scene, though, they're just running away from him for, like, most of the film, and then, well, yeah, they, he has, like, one or two dumb lines, and then that's about it, really. But if they kept him like that, if they kept him as, like, a, an emotionless... Well, just don't have him talk. You know? Then it would be really cool. Just, like, well, yeah. literally, if he didn't say anything. Because that's, like, kind of like the T-1000, he has a couple of lines, but I always felt like they... They were, they like, were mission critical, it's like... I need to see John Connor. Have a nice day. If he like, took so on whatever personality he needed, so you don't like, so like, there's a scene where you buy that he has emotions, and then you realize that he manipulate. Yeah, cool. Like, out a little bit. Yeah, Mauler, I know you've seen Dalek. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Like that. Um. Yeah, like like good things. So the you've highlighted another problem. We had another problem. I got another problem. Uh, he looks at them through a drone, and the the shot. Shows him being like a mile ab above them, at most. Mm -hmm. um, if you remember later, when he's about a mile away from them, he's spotted, and that's at night time. But he's not spotted here, <clears throat> which is one problem. The other problem is, do you remember what he does with the drone uh, later in the movie? I mean, he um, just crashes it to all the people. <laughs> yeah, he's, 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 he bombs it. Or... Yeah. yeah. Why isn't he doing it there and then? Yeah, well, no, he waits. He waits until they've yeah. been captured anyway, and, and then yeah. blow tries to blow them up. You could argue he it's like, oh, well, this is exactly they're... where he wants them. Yeah, you could argue it's like, oh, they can't move there. It's like the fucking didn't work anyway. <laughs> yeah, so right. what he, do you he, mean? he waited for them to be handcuffed, and then he thought, right, this plus elemental surprise should do it, and then of course it did not. It still but... didn't do it. it just I, kills if the you, people. If you have, you think like, sh surely he has access to more than one drone, right? I was about to say, if you have access to one drone, you probably have like a weaponized drone somewhere you can fucking use. No. Just bombing run them or shoot them with pew pew guns. No. You can literally infiltrate any like US airbase or whatever, take a Harrier jet or a helicopter or some shit and just go in guns blazing, but there's no plan or anything. <clears throat> you, even though they talk about how ruthless and smart they are, they, 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 they act retarded how they execute their plans. <laughs> no, yeah, they're so stupid. It's, it's the whole announcing that they're there instead of just like taking the clear shot. Mm. Like, I if like he how... literally just. If he just hid instead of going, blah, 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 he would have killed them easily, like several times. Do you remember how when they get surrounded by people with guns? Um, two things. First, they actually go to start shooting them. Like they put their guns, like Sarah, they put their guns. It's like, guys, you're like, this is not a thing you could win. And then once they decide, okay, yeah, maybe we should surrender, the, uh, not Terminator says to Sarah, if I get separated from here, you have to protect her. It's like, uh, you're all arrested, like, there's not much, I don't know what anyone's <laughs> gonna be able to do. Um, but yeah, that's when, so like, they get handcuffed, and they're about to be taken in by Border Patrol, because Evil Terminator alerted Border Patrol, which is 
thing as a plan, yeah, but okay. One line. Yeah, yeah, when the Terminators need like ice to like help like kill their targets, it's, it's a bit embarrassing as for how like advanced also, they're meant to be. It makes sense as a decision though, doesn't it? I'm okay with it. It just it's weird to me that um there wasn't more drones for him to try using. He didn't try using it once they'd been placed into like a van or something, which probably would have been the best scenario if he was mm -hmm. waiting instead of just going for it. And then thirdly, how did it take him so long to get to the holding center? Like, the, by the time he gets there, they're escaping, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. I, I hate to talk that he always turned into the same dude. Like, it could have been, they could have done really cool scenes where they're like looking around, paranoid. Yeah, I think, I think that's one. a bit of a no, waste. He's, he's always going to choose, like, to uh, choose into the same dude, because like, oh, I guess he just likes that face. Because with the older models, literally all they can actually look like, but E1000 this kind of applies to as well. Um, only to a lesser degree, because he only fights them in like the beginning, and then he does actually switch into like, the security guard in the hospital, which is into um, wearing the helmet and the, and the aviators and stuff. I don't know, there's, there's a bit to go over for that as well, but you know, no film is perfect, right? Sort of, maybe? Yes. I can think of a perfect film. Name it. Is it Shrek? Mm, Catwoman. <laughs> I think Catwoman isn't as perfect as Shrek. Yeah, but yeah, there's not degrees of perfect. They're just both perfect. Uh, either way... Uh, Am the... I missing a meme here? <laughs> yes, you're missing it. How dare you not understand how hilarious it was. But they're captured, they're all in no, fuck you. <laughs> captured worlds, and they're just waiting to get processed. Uh, Sarah gets identified, and they take her away. I guess I'll get to more of that later. Then, um, fucking main character tries to explain they're being hunted by Terminators from the future. Like, it's, why? She does that all the time. <laughs> that's that's, that's her one move. She's so dumb. It's like, don't oh, people will believe that. how insane like, you sound. <laughs> all, you have to do is, all you have to do is say, this guy is trying to kill me. Yeah. And look out for this, this guy who looks like this, who's trying to kill me. That's it. No, instead, yeah. robots from the future. <laughs> <laughs> you have to believe me, like right next to some crack junkie on the floor or something. It's like, mm, so, yeah. I think, I think my, if I was like trying to figure out something, right? Okay. So like, if I genuinely believed that there were robots from the future trying to kill me, one of my first thoughts would be, okay, am I delusional here? Like, am I hallucinating this shit? And then if my instinct was, oh, I need to tell everyone that this is happening because they'll believe me, I'd be going, okay, clearly I am insane. <laughs> oh my god, this reminds me of uh, something from Fright Night when, I don't know if you guys seen that movie, that horror movie about a kid who lives next door to a vampire or whatever. Well, he tells the cops <laughs> that instead of telling the cops, oh, my next door neighbor, he killed that girl who was on the news. Instead of saying that, he says, my, my next door neighbor is a fucking vampire. You gotta kill him before, before he kills again. Like, you fucking idiot. Just say the missing girl was last seen at his house. Go check it out. I think this guy murdered her. You did not have to say all that. This is so fucking stupid. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so, Evil Terminator is trying to get into the place just to finish the job. Uh, good to not Terminator is on a hospital bed thing. And they're like trying to examine her and they're like, whoa, look how tismy all of her biology is. And then they find her syringes like strapped to her back. Nice and they're just like, search. wow, idiots, you left this on her. And you might be thinking as a person, just like, what? And then you're like, oh, because she needs those because of her stupid yeah. ailment that doesn't go anywhere, really. So <laughs> This okay. is where the worst one liner in the film happens as well. Oh, which one? Which one? Who said you could look at my private parts? <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Not just Actually, that. And, and, yeah, and I think it ties into another line that she says to Arnie later. But like, I'm not. Even, I'm, I'm just gonna wait to, until y'all get to that part. Oh, you can you can reference that now if you want. What is it? Because I'm curious. Well, he she says something to him. She, well, he asks her. Well, he says, "Oh, I'm a cyber cyberdyne systems one oh model one oh one." He says that, and then he asks her, "Also, oh, what kind of Terminator are you?" And she says, "What now? Are you? Do you want to tell me what kind of Terminator are you?" He asks, and and she says. No, like in a bitter voice. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that no. reminds me of and it, like I'm. Who knows? I'm, I could be wrong, but that reminds me of some Tumblr shit. Like, the, the it, of the, like thank you like, very like, much. Oh, oh, like, like if someone wanted to ask you what your gender was, they like no. They like. <laughs> I, I, 
It looks also, like this. My gems so are much. Zero. Also, she uh, she broke out of her restraints and tackled thingy before the explosion, and then they attached the same fucking restraints to her. Like, and she breaks out of them again. And it's like, oh fuck, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, why bother? <laughs> you're also talking about bad lines. You're also thinking about uh, forgetting about the one. Uh, they're detainees, not prisoners. Oh well, yeah. Oh, so yeah. she, she, oh my God, she beats yeah. the uh, the people who are looking at her. She beats them to unconsciousness. She has this guy looking at her with like absolute fear, and she yeah. just like fucking slams his head into a wall. It's like okay, bear in mind, right? When 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 Arnie does this in T two, there's, there's almost a smirk on the audience's face because he's a Terminator. He doesn't know any better. He's just trying to knock them all out so he can get his job mm -hmm. done. He's like a full on human being. And you're supposed to be like, yay, you! But she keeps beating innocent people. And you're just like, yeah, this, you know, she's like, is... your future's not important, get lost. <laughs> yeah, it's totally like a message scene. Because there's a scene, there's also a part where they say, uh, where like they, where the, where the, I guess the corrections officers or whatever literally describe the cells as cages. <laughs> Did, you, oh, assume, yeah, right. Did like... you just assume I modeled them? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it was, it was just it was just really suspect. It's like it's clearly oh yeah right a sorry a message theme. So that's one of those lines in the film where I was like, ooh, doing some social commentary. <laughs> so the idea is that we've got a bunch of people who tried to come over the border illegally. They're obviously in these holding pens or whatever, waiting for transfer or processing, depending on what they're gonna do. And so she's like, how do I release the prisoners? Because she wants to get thinking out. And then she's like, they're not prisoners, they're uh, detainees. <laughs> Yeah, can we just talk about how insane that is? They just cut her open, saw he's, she has like some body armor below her skin, some fucked up syringes, <sighs> then she just beats two or three people before she goes to the, to the whammon. It's like, where are the prisoners? Uh, the detainees. Like, you're about to die, what's the problem? <laughs> yeah, I know, that she wouldn't want to correct <laughs> it, she'd just be like... Oh, blah, blah, blah. Like, oh. just tell her the way, maybe you live? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is bad for our brand. You can't call them that. <laughs> our brand. <laughs> yeah. Um, can, can, can we talk about, like, the implications of that line, though? Like, the, the fucking private part of it is, like, play it off as a joke? Like, either that's serious or, or don't put it in. Like, stop. She also uh, gets the information she needs from that person and just punches her out. Yeah. yeah. She's just out. And it's like, wow. Just a Bitch. total twat throughout the entire <laughs> movie. <laughs> he killed several police at the beginning. Right? Yeah, I like... Mean, that's like, the she, first thing she does. If she was a Terminator, I'd be fine with it. But, like, <laughs> you're a soldier. You're told, like... And you, you aren't, you're on the side of human beings. So, naturally, you don't really kill people, human, other human beings that much. Like, you, you know, you're mostly about killing Terminators. You're, you're taught to hate <laughs> Terminators. And so, like, she's just going around, like, wasting people. <laughs> like, it's just, just being a cunt for no reason. Yeah, no, exactly. Because she, she, she's there to protect the future of one person, but everyone else is like, nah, whatever about them. <laughs> and, like, if there are some people where it's justified, like, okay, like, clearly, maybe if they were, you know, left fully able to do whatever, you know, maybe they would have stopped her or tried to stop her. But, like... Especially with like the the woman who was like um, working in the, the fucking the the detainees woman like oh, she had no know. reason to punch her lights out. She's just like I don't <laughs> like you. Exactly, you they're already afraid of you. Is handcuff people like or just you know tie them in any way? Stop killing people. <laughs> You're supposed to be the hero. Oh my god, even after a while, like in Terminator 2, like Arnie was like, he took John's orders and was like, okay, I don't kill everybody because, you know, sometimes you just can't go around and kill everybody. And this human bitch doesn't seem to <laughs> be, understand that. Can I highlight, if John was here, he's like, you can't go around killing people to this new guild. She's like, why not? <laughs> You're like, because it's bad. He's like, why? <laughs> You're supposed to be a human, what the fuck? It's like, are you sure you're not the Terminator? <laughs> uh, I think we can just all be glad that the Dawn doesn't work for border control. Oh <laughs> god. <laughs> doesn't need more of this. Yet. <laughs> That's what he's, he's like, he's hard down on his luck. He's like, oh well, there's one job I think left that'll take me. 
I'm just going to work as border control. Not not a permanent thing, you know. I'd like to get on to back to my charity work, back to helping the orphans. Mola, this point is totally invalid because John Tron, John Tron, John Connor had to tell Arnold <laughs> not to kill anyone. No, I'm referring to all the people that Arnie's fucking up. He doesn't. As far as we, we never get a blatant kill. I don't think from no. this woman in this film. And neither do we get one from Arnie after John's told him not to kill people. But he does beat the shit out of several people. He, like, slams people into walls and hits them over the head with shit. Like, um... But the thing is, he's, like, cannot kill. So it translates as, like, well... <laughs> like, this, they, they make a joke anybody. out of it in the film. He shoots a guy in both of his, like, legs and he's like, I didn't kill him. <laughs> like, no, he didn't kill him, I guess. Uh... But with like, here, there's no sense of, like, it's binary with a robot. It's like, as long as the fucking heart is still beating, I guess, it'll be fine. But, but with her, she's just like, oh, I fucking hate people. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> if, um, if you got to the end of that and, like, you were told, no, I've survived, you'd be like, fucking really? Holy shit. <laughs> um, yeah, I think they just don't care enough about her character to, like, to make that, like, significant of enough of a, uh, of a thing that they're aware of or, like, to include. They're just like, yeah, whatever, you know. Bad guys appear on screen, pew, 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 whatever. They're on the floor, you know, groaning on the floor or something. Job done, you know? <laughs> so now I want to highlight uh, John, uh, Sarah Connor is a 60 plus year old woman who is kind of a little bit twig like in this film, and that's fine. She's 60. I don't expect her to be a bodybuilder. But she's walking with these two. Well, it's actually in the shot, you can see three guys, but um, it's two when the lights start to flicker. She kicks one in the chest, and he falls down some steps, and apparently that knocks him out, because he's gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. think that's how that works, especially for someone who's a trained agent, but okay, fine, yeah, he's you down. A, you have a bad fall, you can, you can get unlucky. <sighs> okay, so she was lucky, let's put it that way. Lucky with him getting knocked out. And then she, like, kicks a, the other guy she's with in, like, the foot, and then she does this move where her, her hands are hand handcuffed behind her back. She manages to get high enough to lock his head between her chest and arm, if you know what I mean. And she, mm -hmm. she like, chokes him out. And it's just like, wow. <laughs> she was hella struggling with that. <laughs> <laughs> like, holy shit. Um, Sarah Carter, so I, I'll give it a pass. But what the hell? Like, I'm pretty... <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll just let it go. Um, and then a good Terminator, not Terminator person, releases, like, every single immigrant person. Um... <laughs> I don't know that that's going to end well, because I'm pretty sure if they all run around the security area, they might get shot, but, uh... Well, yeah, she causes uh, a riot, doesn't she? Well, like, that's not really her, like, that's not what she cares about, though. Oh, like, uh, yeah, well, no, I'm saying from, like, the film's perspective about how they're prisoners. You know what I mean? Like, the meta element. Like, she yeah. let them all free, in, in the same way that Rose lets all the fucking people free, the, the, the horses free no, in TLJ. Not the people, no, she lets the horses free. Priority. Yeah. <laughs> but in this I film mean, as well, I'm like, I don't think that's going to end well. <laughs> Which is kind of dumb because, like, oh, she's supposed to show she cares about people, but then she doesn't care about people. She doesn't. She only cares about the person she's supposed, she's supposed to protect. Well, uh, like, like Jay just said, I'm pretty sure she does it just to cause a distraction. I don't think she actually cares yeah. about anyone. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah well, it's, 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 it's not moral. It's no moral good in it. It's a, it's a means to an end for her. They probably did oh. survive though, because the, the Terminator killed all of the guards. <laughs> the Terminator killed a whole <laughs> yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, bunch yeah. of people. Yeah. Oh yeah, at one point they're trying for to like, no grab him. Well. Yeah, at one point the like cops or the uh, officers are trying to like grab him like in a, like in a rugby tackle or something because he's just he's butchering all of them and they're like, we can't do fuck all against. <laughs> um, do you remember how when he's jumping across like the roof area and then mm -hmm. the guard that she was talking to earlier sees him and she sprints towards him with like a baton? <laughs> yes. And I remember being like, what in the world? Do you attempt? What are you doing? And she goes to him and she just gets stabbed out. You're like, oh, this well, is fucked up right away. <laughs> I don't really know what the hope was there. <laughs> I don't know what she expected, but that's what she did. Uh, I will get to kill. Ah. Yeah, she wanted the XP, I think. Yeah. Rev nine, man. Oh. You level up a few times. <laughs> yeah, he I gets grabbed. At this point. Sorry. Sorry, go on. Sorry, go on. I, oh, well, I'm gonna I'm... carry on with the thing. So we. Uh, I thought you would have carry, carry on. Oh. All right. All right then. All right. Uh, yeah, as, as Alex said, he gets <laughs> a load of army dudes just grab him. They don't seem to do anything else. They just want to grab him, but then they get stabbed. Like that's probably the only time he seems to have the tentacle. Yeah, he just, he uses it, he uses well, it, it just yeah, creates, like, stabby things out of his body. Yeah. 
Yeah, he's yeah. just doing it because he can. Well, he has to kill well the red shirts, and, and he doesn't. He... The reason why I'm harping on the tentacle thing, right, is so that when he stabs one person and then he looks at another person, like, oh, I want to kill you. It's like, man, if you just had some extra appendages, like maybe a tentacle, maybe four <laughs> tentacles. No, uh, uh, let <clears throat> yourself. Oh wait. Um, the bigger they... problem. They're trying, to, they're trying to pander to the to the hentai crowd. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> yeah, I see it as the opposite. It's like they they had plenty of opportunities for tentacles. The bigger um, problem is that he just didn't have any guns most of the time. He just he, he didn't come in equipped for no real reason. It's annoying, really. Yeah, do you he remember how he's taken like, gun guns and put them in himself? Remember how he's like running up to them with the helicopter and they just escape? They're like two meters away from him. But let's say five to be generous. Mm -hmm. um, and he just stares at them. I was like, why don't you do a thing? Like make a thing and throw it. <laughs> Throw your goopiness at them. <laughs> Throw a spear made of your goop at them. Show me your advanced technology, you idiot. But he just he's just like, huh, fine. Well, <laughs> like, I'm leaving. Uh, I look for my I know what I've been beaten. Remember the um <laughs> remember the bit where he like appeals to the southerners like there's like these two Texas agents with cowboy hats turned up. He's like, oh. Yeah, man, ever everything's weird over I thought I was gonna die in so much chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I haven't prayed my whole life, like in the last five minutes, like, oh, Jesus fucking and Christ, shut your mouth. You might be like, why is he doing that? It's like, oh, well, maybe to just appeal to him a bit. Then he goes, hey, you guys know where I can get a chopper? It's like, what? <laughs> it's like, um, in my head, I was like, surely you need clearance to get a chopper. Also, you just you're just coming one. from a military base. You should know where the choppers are. Not those well, yeah, yeah, into the whole sheriff. thing, yeah. <laughs> Well, Mola, if you say by clearance, if all you had to do is, if he just like knew a pilot or found a pilot, you could touch him and then morph into him, and then like his, he would clone his like ID card as well with the camera. That would be cool to see. Instead of him, for some reason, trying to speak Texan to Texan. It's, it's, a, it's just a callback to Terminator Two when uh, the T One Thousand steals this cop's bike. That's all it is. Yeah, <laughs> but a chopper. You know, it's not as easy to steal like a fucking car or bike. You have to get like. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Wait, you, you never you never stole the chopper before. Yeah, hey, well, it's, know, still, I'm, it's, it's still yeah. it's still mm. better than Terminator Genesis where the other Terminator just spontaneously finds one like immediately afterwards. Oh yeah, yeah, that's worse. <laughs> like they don't actually show how they acquired it, he just gets it. it it's hilarious. <laughs> Have the chopper He's got chasing a fucking chopper. motorcycle He's got mm. a motorcycle <laughs> outfit on already. Um, oh, wait, we're talking about the same scene? We're talking about, um, well, when we say, ch when I say chopper, I'm talking about, like, helicopter. Oh, yeah. no, I was talking about the oh, scene yeah. from Genesis. Yeah, yeah, when he, so, if you remember in Genesis, they, like, all get into a helicopter and fall off the edge and then get away. And there's, like, I don't remember there being another chopper on that fucking rooftop. But even if there was, he, like, appears right behind them immediately. There, there wasn't one. Oh, okay. It's just funny. It's just like, yeah, oh, they, there they, he is. <laughs> I definitely noticed when we watched it like two days ago where there wasn't one. They just pulled that out of their ass and he pursued them straight afterwards. Like so, there was nothing. For reference, right? So this is the part where we turn up to Arnie's house. This is the person who's been giving her the coordinates for the Terminators. He gets up from watching the football. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> Does he watch the football? <laughs> like, really? He's analyzing, he's analyzing the tactics of each team. It's like, they're gonna lose. And then he just <laughs> bangs on the lottery every day. Like, okay, all right. Bit weird. This whole bit is weird, though. So, yeah, he opens the door, and if you've seen the trailer, Sarah's like, oh my god, you piece of shit, and tries to shoot him, but then, uh... Acted. This is where she gets really intolerable, Sarah. This is the one and the same guy who killed John. Same yeah. machine. The um, first question was, when she saw him, was like, he killed John. It's like, how do you know? You killed, like, a million yeah, How does she know? It's just the now. same model. And, by the way, Sarah, we've done this before. You've met a different model... Uh, yeah. and not killed him because he's a good- you actually shook hands with him, so now you just hate them all again? Like, yeah, I thought you got over your racism. <laughs> <laughs> She's irrational. Yeah, I guess she just figured out that it's the same one. She assumes that uh, womb and bad- <laughs> womb and bad Terminator. That's it. I That's mean, her assumption. Didn't, didn't they change the timeline in T2, like when they were on that Mexican vacation or vacation whatever in the beginning of the movie? And so, it's, so wait, is that the same Terminator? Yeah, that, that happens after Terminator Two. Yeah, but like, is that the, the Terminator that comes after John in the beginning of uh -huh. Dark Fate? Is that the same fucking no. one? That they dropped one, into the lava. The, the, that's where the we get a lore dump again. We're nearly there. Uh, I guess oh all 
unless anyone else can think of anything, it's like, all I, I remember is, she explains, like, we need his help, and then Sarah, like, goes, meh, and walks off to a log, <laughs> and there's this and shot. And she has a sad face. Well, that's the thing, I, I, I turned to Alex and said, like, oh, she's pouted. <laughs> like, she's yeah. just, she's like, mm. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, this fucking walks up to her, and she's like, she's, she, they, I don't think it was written very well, but she says, like, I worked really hard to make it so there was, like, no pictures of John. But now I'm forgetting his face. And the whole reason was to try and prevent the Terminators from ever being able to find him if he had no face. But mm -hmm. I was like, he went to a school. Yeah. yeah. They had yeah. photos of him in the foster parents' house. The T-1000 had one. Like, <laughs> I don't think you're going to be able to erase his face without... All she mentions is not taking photos of him, right? She doesn't do anything else. Yeah, like, why would... I don't know why she thought... Like, Sarah Connor's really smart. Yeah. Also, uh, how, how many Terminators did they kill, like, together, like, she and, uh, she and John? I don't remember if, how many... She, did she say that they killed more? I mean, uh, not, not with John. I, I don't know. Did, did she say, like, at some point they, they caught up and found us? Can we bring up the question at this point? How many Terminators have come back that she apparently gets texts regularly that there's a Terminator around? Like, what are they sent back for? To try and kill Danny because after... all of them. Well, well, from this timeline, after John gets killed, uh, Legion now becomes the replacement, and the target for Legion is Danny. So they start sending not Terminators but Revs, whatever, instead. Well, you, you say no. Revs. This is the first one. They probably will make yeah. a whole bunch of movies out of this. I'm, I'm pretty sure the other ones were still like the the Terminators we know because she says at some points like the. They came from a future that already oh, yeah. well, failed or something. From yeah. what Arnie says, apparently <laughs> in T2, and I'm talking pretty much in the same timeline exactly, uh, they sent back a fucking cluster of Terminators, like a whole bunch in loads of different places. What we saw in T2 was them dealing with one of them. And that uh, a whole bunch more were coming. Then they went off the grid and hid away in some distant beach, there and, and gone. Unfortunately, Arnie found them and fucking just killed him with a shotgun. Yeah. Wait, is that implied uh, in T2 that, that there were a cluster of them sent back, or is that a new thing from this? Oh, well, I'm saying that if, that, if the case is that they were sent back to kill John, then, and, and the way they look in, on that beach looks as if we just left T2. Like, they look exactly the same. Yeah, the way in this, like, oh, like, I think they're like the same black tank top, but they, yeah, they, they send another Arnie model back to kill him because it's not the same one that sacrificed himself or whatever. No, cool. it's, oh, it's not that the, one. That's the thing, like, as well, when, when they were bringing back the Arnie model, feel the resentment that, that, um, that in T2 the, the friendly Arnie killed himself. It's like, can we not just use that one, please? Why, why did you have to get rid of him? <laughs> well, they, well this is a, they, they, they piss on T2 for. They're well, the new, the new generation, yeah. or whatever. I, I honestly feel like both I honestly family. feel like they're only like they're only like a, a slight provocation from going. This is the one from T two that was friendly. He just survived. Okay, he just survived. He was okay. Yeah. Time travel. <laughs> there also apparently there's only Terminators be sent back, but no one to. Um, Stop protect, them. To protect them, to oh, stop right, them. Yeah. Maybe, so, maybe a protector was sense because they were the, really the, shit. The whole thing was they were about to, Skyder was about to lose. They sent a Terminator back. Then they lose and they sent a guy or a machine or whatever they have in their timeline for this round of movie to protect someone. No, you're but right. for some um, reason, there's only. A Terminator sent back. What, what, what's with the protector? I mean, they just don't bother. It's like, oh fuck, I'm. It never made a great <laughs> amount of sense, but now it makes even less sense. Being the, it's like, okay, so the humans knew that the Terminators sent a Terminator back, and so they send Kyle Reese back to protect her. It's like, yeah. guys, maybe you should send a lot of dudes. Kyle <laughs> Reese might not be enough, but fine, we'll hand wave that. And then T two does the same thing, and again, you're like, you have access to Terminators, maybe. Okay, fine, hand wave that too. But this film yeah. is like, the bad guys sent fucking loads of Terminators. It's like, you guys already sent the one Arnie? Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they sent them like, I, in, in like long gaps. And, you know. I, I subscribe to the theory that they sent someone back, but they were really fucking terrible. 
<laughs> yeah, like he got lost. He's like, I don't know where they are. <laughs> she deleted all the photos of John. How am I supposed to find them? They just settled did, down. Did, at, at did, grid, did, did, did all the photos and records of Sarah get deleted? Because if not, then... that's a good point, actually. Yeah, no one, no one knows that their timeline was Sarah Connor, which is weird to me because she basically did like a whole bunch of shit in this timeline. Like killing lots of Terminators. Um, like, is that did it just not happen? I was, I was just so confused by the time. We, we brought this up when watching them. Uh, Metal did, but uh, from the chat, at Pime the Oz, Australia, maybe I don't know. But it says, uh, wouldn't you get like half a dozen Terminators to naked hug on the time machine platform and send them back at the same time? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I said that yesterday. So just fold them in, into each other or yeah. something. And just set like a whole cluster, actual cluster of them. Isle implies the picture he has is the only one. So what I'm talking about is. Um, Sarah says she didn't take any pictures of John in order for there to be no records of John in order to escape the Terminators forever if they never know what John looks like. Problem is that there are already records of John because he went to a school and like I said the T-1000 fucking got pictures of him so I'm pretty sure it's possible. And secondly, all they need to do is find Sarah and they'll find John. And there are plenty of records of her. She went to a fucking mental asylum so yeah, that makes no sense at all at this but that's not a shock, considering this movie. No. <laughs> yeah, they, they, this is, they, they throw this kind of shit in, but they don't care enough to like make sure it actually makes sense. They're just like, mm, yeah. <laughs> Feel of it. Um, hey, remember Terminator 2? Yeah. We don't like that film, but yeah, remember it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I guess we're at the point now where uh, the writers wanted to bring Arnie from Terminator 2 back, because he's awesome. Aww. How do we do it? Because he's dead. Well... <laughs> Because he may as well be him at this point in the movie. And you're like, so yeah. how do we get that? And it's like, well, what happened was, according to Arnie, <laughs> he shot and killed John with a shotgun, then dropped the gun and walked off, because, well, his mission's done. What does a robot do then? He bumped get into arrested. a girl who was being beaten by her fiancé, husband, boyfriend, whatever. And uh, so he stopped all that, and uh, he, he lives with them. <laughs> See, stop laughing. People will think I'm joking. I'm not joking. No. <laughs> That's why it's so funny. He, uh, they asked if he loves the person, and he's like, I feel compassion for them, or something. And they're like, how? And he says, I learned <laughs> compassion. Oh, God. Like, yeah, do, you, do you love them? A conscience. Not like a human could do. Yes, yeah, mm. he gets asked at one point uh, about love, and he says, I can't love like a human can, and it's worse that way. Like, he, he basically yeah. makes a point about how not being able to love is bad. Yeah, I, I love some of yeah. <laughs> No way. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I'm not this kidding. I, I gave a very fair uh, recant of the fucking plot. Like, that's the thing that he says. That's all the way yeah. No, no bullshit exaggerations. And then she, then she comes, uh, comes and he gets, like, food and whatever. And then she, she doesn't know, does she? And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, his wife. Oh, right, yeah. And the movie itself goes like, yeah, she didn't realize your 400 pounds or whatever it was. I like, really I don't, I'm pretty sure he weighs physical. more than 400 pounds as well. I think that's bullshit. Yeah. I don't know, I don't know what, what they actually said, but it was like a fucking like skeleton of, like, steel. Like, I don't know the... Well, do you remember the third one when they tried pulling the firemen tried pulling them off the debris and like four of them? Yeah, they'd be able off? to yeah. pull a four hundred pound yeah. man. Fucking doesn't Boogie weigh more than? He's around four hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, dude. But <laughs> I mean, isn't that true? I don't know. I haven't, I haven't asked him. <laughs> Look. Like you, you could pull somebody who weighs four hundred pounds. You could at least like pull them like in a direction if they're standing. Yeah. But he weighs yeah. more than 400 pounds. They're definitely, definitely. Yeah, he's got to weigh at least a ton. I mean, I think that was a throwaway line from T3, but that, that, that's yeah. got to be about around what he weighs. Yeah, because the firemen couldn't lift him, and there was like four of them or something like that. Well then, yeah, so either way, the film goes out of its way to point out this plot hole, because there's no fucking way he could live with a family for 40 years, and they have no idea. <laughs> wait, wait it's not even 40, know. is it? It's not even relevant. Make her know that he's a Terminator. Yeah, I, I mean, knew. it wouldn't matter if she knew he was a Terminator. Yeah. She could just get over it. <laughs> she could get over it. I don't know. They, they'd have to have a few lights to explain no, to, that. To, to be fair, like every time the Terminator would go in a car or whatever, like by all things, they they shouldn't be able to drive the cars or bikes. Like they should be wrecking the, the suspension. Like, the, <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. The yeah, that, that, that too. Like it'll it, it weighs everything down. That's how it should work. Um, I mean. I mean 
<laughs> imagine, but, imagine Arnold, like Terminator Arnold, just piping down a bitch. And it's, <laughs> <Terminator>. <laughs> <laughs> Half. To, to, <laughs> because it's so. I mean, pipe it down a bitch, man. It means fucking. That's what it means. Oh, it means, yeah, yeah it I was about to. Uh, things. I, I was about to go there because just our our per, per, our relationship is physical. It's like, dude. Right, well, I was gonna say you, you, <laughs> sa I you saved you... her from your abusive husband, friend, whatever. There's gonna be people in the audience who still don't know what we're talking about. I'll re-explain it. Right. So, okay. Okay, Arnie has Set up. a wife slash girlfriend person, and he's raising Papa. a son with her. This kid, how old would you say is the kid is, guys? In in this, in, in, in like in well, when, 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 when they catch up and introduce him, he's like got to be like fourteen. He so seems like a fourteen 14, year old 15, around yeah. then. However, we're supposed to believe that he met this person straight after T two, which is like ninety seven, <laughs> and that this kid was already like four years old or whatever. And so fast forwards. Fucking 20, 24 years or whatever, and apparently the kid grew ten years. <laughs> it's like okay, yeah, yeah. The, the the timeline is fucked. And um <laughs> and yeah, so they're asking the obvious question of how the fuck don't they know you're a Terminator? And his answer no, no, no. is, well, the, how do they not know you're a machine? Let's put it that way. No, no, no guys, Arnie didn't have the kid. He he fostered it. Oh no, yeah, it's not his kid. It's not his kid. Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. not his he, kid. He, he, they do, it's not. Yeah. They don't do breeding shit. No, they, they don't uh, go that Because I, I, I was about to get to that. They they say like, how didn't you notice? And the the implication of the question is that if you have sex with Arnie, surely you'd notice. And he says like, our relationship, our relationship isn't physical. And, and that's like, the only yeah. way you'd notice he was a ton yeah, by like, fucking him. Yeah. There are a bazillion him, other ways to notice this yeah, shit. Yeah, not him sitting on the toilet taking a shit and just wrecking. <laughs> <it>. <laughs> How would you- Hey Arnie, did you just fall through the floor? No. No. <laughs> I'm doing drapes. It's- Yeah, it's ridiculous, but lucky it's like, that's one of the yeah, lesser yeah, what, problems. What, 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 so, what, what, you know what, how- what? okay, so do you know how it's like, really, like, it wouldn't change anything in the story if he was like, she knows, I have explained to her. I am from like, the future and I want to help her raise her boy. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want to help you raise little Pepe. <laughs> I, I reckon the only reason they didn't have a simpler like thing that made sense that she just knew is so that he could have so they could have the joke where he where he gets shot and goes, My wife will not have an explanation for this. Right. <laughs> What's that seems that to be the only like, payoff they could draw from it, yeah. This will be hard to explain. Letitia just bought me this <laughs> shirt. <laughs> <laughs> See, they could have had that joke. They could have just said, "Oh, my wife bought me this shirt," and then they would have had the joke, and like she could still have known that he was a Terminator. There we go. Um, we fixed the script. It's a good film now. So yeah, then they get over all the pleasantries and they start trying to come up with a plan. And this part really fucking bothered me in terms of just trying to write drama for the sake of drama. But um, uh, what's it, is it? Uh, Sarah's plan is to make a kill box and drop the bait in the middle of the kill box and then remove her when the guy gets there and just shoot the shit out of him or whatever. And it's like, okay. And then, um, other girl's plan is to just run away, I think, right? That's, she's just like, we should just run. Which is insane. <laughs> well, yeah, but that's, this is the thing, right? Those are two plans, and there's, there's criticisms and things you can do with them. But instead of just saying, I believe we should run, He's like, no, I will not make her bait. We will yeah. run. And, and then, yeah, like, yes, be like. She gets, stra yeah, she gets strangely possessive out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, well, we you, gotta uh... put her in a hole somewhere in the dark. So she can only be with me. <laughs> oh, God fuck yeah. It. She says, I'll drop her in a well or some shit, right? <laughs> it's like, what? Oh, yeah. Um, but my point is, like, instead of being like, oh, Killbox isn't a great idea, she, like, fucking bites Sarah's head off, and then the, the main girl has to be like, calm down! We need to talk about this rationally! And it's like, why is everyone so angry? <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, we just started talking. Yeah, then Arnie's just like, Killbox is correct. Like, oh. Okay. Uh, like, this EMP plan they come up with, it just seems to be like, that's the best plan, not this Killbox thing. And you're like, no, that's a part of it. You're like, no, no. You don't need a kill box. You just need to find him and go boop. <laughs> that seems to be it. I don't know. Well, so once they once they're free from the detention center, that's their next move is to meet up with the with Sarah's contact, who is just like the most fucking far fetched bullshit. Like, oh yeah, oh, this is shit, just next. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, just goes... Other than just to quickly mention that Sarah's like, I'm gonna kill you just before this movie ends, okay? And Arnie's like, okay. 
Cause... Hate drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have a family that I care about very much, but you can kill me. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> He's very odd in this film. It just seems off. You're like, all right. Do you? <laughs> Um, he's, meant, he's meant to be very funny, though. <laughs> right. He runs a drapes business? <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, he does, he, he does your drapes. That's the one line in the film I found unironically funny. And he, like, is trying... There's a joke where he's trying to explain how some people try and put colors together. And he had a one oh, guy no, no, who tried to do a thing, and then he was like, No, you cannot do that. You need polka dots and butterflies. A little <laughs> girl. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> like, I, I didn't know how to feel about that. I didn't laugh. I was... <laughs> Out, I guess. In a better in movie, stitches. like in a, in a movie where the fucking Terminator had been done justice, I think that line would have been funny. It was just random. They just dropped it out of nowhere. Like the scene changes, and they're at the where they need to be meeting this guy, and there's like all oh, drapes, purple drapes, <laughs> green drapes, kebab <laughs> drapes, shrimp drapes. Like to me, <laughs> I was like, oh, they're doing like he's he does certain relatable human things because else we something. Like, it, 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 I don't know, it's very constructed to me. It's like, of course, he, he runs a drapes business. Drapes. Drapes joke. It was just, they just had to get him in the movie, that's all it is. It was very, very awkward to be as a whole. But they agree yeah. to do the kill box, and the first thing they need to do is get an EMP, because apparently... <laughs> what do they say an EMP will do? Just fuck him up completely? It. Yeah, 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 just fry a circuitry. Well, I think that's accurate, to be fair. No, no, I'm not saying this. I'm kind of getting out like, wow, like... Just, that seems easy. Yeah, like, just work <laughs> on getting an EMP. Like, get out of the state. Maybe. Just run somewhere. Get an EMP. Go underground, literally, or something. Just get safe, make an EMP. I don't know, it feels like there are better ways to do all of this. But the, their plan is to... Um, oh, yeah, there's that joke as well, that he has a shit ton of guns. Says, I'm from Texas. Oh, they hated that one. That was awful. Please kill me. Oh, they yeah. hated that one, or you hated it? <laughs> I hated it. It was no. This is Texas. It's so corny. It's like it's like as soon as um as soon as we saw all the guns, I was like, oh, he's gonna say Texas or some shit. <laughs> and then he makes another line. It's like he, he does another line. He says like humans oh, are eventually if, if gonna fall into a dystopian thing. And I will need yeah. these weapons to protect my family because I am not a huge fucking robot. Um, oh, and funny. then like. <laughs> Actually, sorry. And then, and then, like, I'm like, oh, cool. They didn't do the Texas line, and he's like, also, oh, this is Texas. I'm like, Fuck you. <laughs> also, I, I just want to talk about that point as well. He he says he needs these guns to protect his family, but as soon as Sarah Connor and, and her little gang of friends show up, he just dismisses them and goes, "My family. This this is my time now. You remember we have this Peace, plan. I'm out. <laughs> yeah, you got to abandon your house and me. Goodbye." And he's like, "Oh yeah, I guess I don't need those guns anymore." <laughs> I've calculated that there's a 74% chance that human, like, human civilization will collapse. I'm just going to leave my family to that. Bye. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, damn. You can the go now. You can have sex again. The compassion is running <laughs> out of me. The compassion thing is... I can't, I can't, I can't believe it. Like, the, <laughs> he saved her from his abusive husband, raised her child... And she didn't get horny once in like 20 years? Are you right, kidding? like well... like big buff, like big <laughs> yeah, yeah. buff Arnold Schwarzenegger. Like yeah. holding it, holding it down, <laughs> and, and beat. The, and I, I'm picturing her. scenes she, she where he's never... like, he's like the perfect husband in every way, shape, or form. And she's like, "Do you want her?" And he's like, "Nope." <laughs> I got any kind of nope. <laughs> yeah. like, okay. You're not getting get any of this pipe. <laughs> I am like a cat doll. <laughs> so, um... <laughs> I'm smooth down there. So then there's the whole uh, the thing I forgot the trading sequence. Do you remember this? The, oh, that it? fuck that scene! So I, yeah, I'm gonna, no. I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give a summary. Uh, there's only one comment we all have to make, I'm sure. But Emotions there's a bunch of targets, and uh, they give main girl a pistol, and she's shooting like shit. She can't hit the target. Rip. And then they're like, "Hey, square your shoulders, keep your balance forward. Do, do all these these stupid ideas about how to shoot a gun. Fuck all of them." And then um, <laughs> you still can't hit it, and so the the main not Terminator girl says, "Hey," and she gives her a fucking like. Is it a shotgun or a rifle? It's it's something. No, 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 no Sarah, Sarah, gives, Sarah or gives her the shotgun. Oh, is it Sarah? Okay. I thought it was not. Yeah, Sarah. Because, yeah, yeah, because no, it's Sarah. Just, yeah, yeah, because yeah, remember explosive rounds. Yeah, listen, yeah, because she remembers uh, a Terminator's killed your family. You have, what no, you do? Well, I was, I was, I was, I was gonna get to that. It's so funny. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's the payoff. So, like, like she's putting this thing to her shoulder, 
Like, for the first time ever. Bear in mind, she's having trouble with a fucking pistol. Even, like, even with the recoil element of it. And, um, Sarah hands her this fuck-off big-ass weapon. She shoulders <laughs> it, and she aims at the two- there's two targets, and she just fires fires and hits both of them. And you might be like, well, wait. What, uh, you know, what gave her, like, how did she do that? What, what gave her the accuracy? And it's like, well, Sarah said, imagine this thing killed your whole family. No, she doesn't have to imagine it. Literally just did. Like, yeah. <laughs> remember oh, well, how your true, family's actually. dead. <laughs> remember how your family's dead. Okay, now I can shoot guns. Yeah, it's just like, a Terminator just killed all your, all your family. What would you do to him? Like, and bam, 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 hit all of them. It's like, oh, that's not how it works. Gonna be real, I think trauma would make me worse <laughs> yeah. at doing yeah, get, that. Get really pissed off and irrational, and you should be able to just think well, the, clearly. The weird part is, do you remember, Sarah, like, smirks and walks off, and it's like, okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, bitch, you did nothing! You did it's like, yeah. Nothing. That PTSD is kicking in soon, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I know that feeling so, now. I'm, I'm, fucking, I'm, oh I'm fucking imagining like a real, uh, you, you know, you're, you're going to learn to shoot and your instructor like goes, okay, so uh, you traumatize? <laughs> also, uh, someone in the chat said, do three through six not exist now? It's like, yep, they do not exist. Three, four, five, and Genesis are all, wait, no, three, four, Genesis. Fucking names. I feel bad for three because three is unironically better. Uh, Actually, I think Salvation might be better as well. I think Salvation is yeah. probably the best of the sequels. Yeah, it's true. So, because at least they went in another direction, and it it and I mean it, it's it's PG thirteen, but it's passable, you know. Yeah, I, I give it a thumbs okay. Thumbs <laughs> okay. Like you know the first scene of um, Dark Fate with all of the Terminators rising out of the that can oh, can I see no. that film like just mm. that whole film? What you liked it just because there were Terminators? Well, you know, it's it's Jay. something different being done in the Terminator keys, world. Jay. Dangling keys, Jay. All <laughs> it is. But, but I don't just want to see T2 again, but with whammons. Well, you can do- that's <laughs> not your only two options. <laughs> you can do other things. Fucking but like, okay. rising out of the ocean. But those are the only two options I was shown. Um. Oh, by the way, did we talk more about the whole that he- Grew a conscience that uh, well, or we mentioned it. To do a conscience. What can we say? Apparently, he says that. Um, so we'll have to establish this in T two. Yeah, in order for him at. to learn, he has to get the chip removed from his head and put back in. Now, one thing I remembered is there is two cuts, or at least there's at least two cuts of Terminator Two. I can't remember if that scene is in one of the two cuts. Oh, okay. So whether uh, I or not, think I remember. I think I remember seeing it, and I think it, it is in one it is it, it's in the extended one or whatever the hell you call it. I, re I remember seeing it. But uh, it's important because the idea is when Skynet send out their Terminators, they have the ability to learn, but it's shut off because they don't want them learning the line. Yeah. And he says that you need to do a thing with his chip in order to let him learn, and they do it, and then he starts learning in the film, which is fun. Really good part of the film. Um... In this film, he says that once he killed John, he walked off, and he met those people, and he started learning about compassion, and then he actually, like, grew one, and you're just like, I don't, um... Mm. And if someone wanted to say, like, ah, well, they pulled his chip out and put it back in, it's like, no, they don't know he's a Terminator, so they that's not possible. <laughs> <laughs> and he can't do it himself, because he literally turns himself off to do it, so... Yeah, he was learning without being able to learn, and he also just grew a conscience and, um... Maybe not a conscience, but compassion is the word they use in the film. No, they literally yeah. say it, they describe it as a conscience in the film. <sighs> yeah, the power of love flipped the switch involuntarily. That's what happened. <laughs> it's so dumb. Like, unbelievably dumb. And no, that's big, why he hey, felt hey, bad hey. about John. This is what Nerd Roddick told us on the fucking Expanse EFAP, and we just laughed at it, but it's 100% true. He felt bad about John. And so he started sending coordinates to Sarah to help her <laughs> kill Terminators, and he said the reason was to give her a purpose, because without a purpose, mm -hmm. life is meaningless. Yeah, he said, like, raising, uh, raising a son of his own helped him understand what she went through, and I'm like, it, I, it, what the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is happening? If he I told you... Photos in his house! 
if I told you a T-800 <laughs> was gonna stupid. come back in time, murder John just after T-2 finished, and then get his son of his own and feel bad because he knows what <laughs> sons are like, I'd just be like, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> oh right my god. Uh... It's like fan fiction. Uh, according it's, it's to Trey fiction. Chester, there are three cuts. Theatrical, Special Extended, and Coda. Uh, the switching of the chip happens in the Special Edition. Well, oh, yeah, that's that's the one my dad has on DVD. So it's like the best version. A bunch of extra bits in it. The lead scene I haven't seen that one. is not technically canon, then. I mean... Fine. Well, I mean, well, the the anyway. compassion thing is still dumb anyway. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's one thing to be able to learn stuff, but to be able to spontaneously create compassion, I don't even understand how that works. Yeah, I mean, he's a fucking toaster. <laughs> <laughs> he he, under, he should uh, he under I, it's fine. You should he should understand how love works, but like the, the mechanics of it, not like he shouldn't be able to feel it. Shouldn't be able to he feel be bad able about. To... What's the point of T2? He's like, I know why you cry. I mean, exactly. I can't do. And it's really sad to us, but to, to for him, he's just like, oh man, I get you're sad, but I mean, well, <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's sad for John, but whatever, fine. Um, it's dumb either way, but maybe less dumb than I thought. Depending on, I mean, it should be considered canon, that bit's great. When John convinces Sarah not to kill him. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, anything else in the, um, in the nice little house, in Arnie's house with his- Oh, I, I like the part when, uh, Sarah's, like, when they're, when they're train when they're, they're training her with the gun, she, she pulls out the big one and says, all right, let's, it's time to get real. And she brings out Well, you see, pistols one. don't really do anything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, oh. it was just funny to me, because it's so yeah. cheesy. Also, my uh, the fa it's probably actually one of my favorite lines for some reason is when um he says I go by Carl and she goes I'm not gonna call you fucking Carl. <laughs> oh yeah, that was funny. Okay, they called him Carl. That's like one of our meme names. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, it's... It's, God, it's my fucking father's name for Christ's sake. <laughs> it's so awkward. <laughs> Carl. Carl. <laughs> um. <laughs> That kills people, Carl. <laughs> so then, Evil Terminator gets to their house. The way he's able to track them is they have a photo of the car they use on their fridge. I think they would have thought about that. But, uh... Wait, I didn't notice that. They, basically, he gets to their house, because I guess he... How did he figure out they were at that house? Um... That's why. <laughs> Has all of the wire. Well, there's the thing. He, he looks at the fridge and there's the van on it, and he's like, Maha. And he finds them like immediately after. And you just think, like, wouldn't it be a, a smart move to have ditched that van the second they could? Instead mm. of going straight to. Which brings us to the next bit. So, this is the plot summary of this Sarah Connor, and this is reinforced by Artie. He just says this is the case. She has an old friend in the military who's a major. She's going to ask him for an EMP. That's just how that works. She does. <laughs> but that point, the point you're doing that, you may as well just. I already have one of those in my pocket. Yeah, she may as well have just had an EMP because it's so dumb. But I mean, he, in fairness, Jay, he is used for more than one thing. This major person. So, yeah, um, but but I, I do love the fact that he shows up to like commit treason to like exchange the or the give of the EMP, and he just shows up in his army clothes like. To be <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so people understand the scope of this, they are about, I want to say, five miles away from some form of a military outpost, um, and he's in his military garb, providing illegally a weapon to civilians as a favor to a friend, and he says that he shouldn't be doing this because it's like super treason. <clears throat> I'm back. But he's just dressed as a major, it's just hilarious, and uh, he keeps, major, like, nice. keeps like being like, oh, who's that, a bodyguard? And then he talks about like grapes again, I can't remember, and then and then the other girl starts talking, and this major guy's just like, huh, those people I've never met before are just here, okay. <laughs> this, is yeah. one, this is the one line in the film that I thought was funny, like, unironically wrote fly. Wait, which one? When, um, when uh, the military contacts uh, sees out, and he's like, oh. I know. I do grapes. <laughs> 
So, okay, the one line in the film that I found on ironically was when uh, the military guy is like, oh, is this your bodyguard after seeing Arnie? And Arnie just says, I do drapes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like that uh, one. I, I can see <sighs> why it worked. It's okay. No, I, I, I laughed at the effort or the attempt at doing it. <laughs> I, I will say, right, I, I think, can we agree, it's the best joke in the film. I don't know, I no, prefer the Carl one. I'm not going to call you fucking Carl. It's funny. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like the one where he says, also, I'm extremely funny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, um, so no, the right. major guy just gets shot by Evil Terminator, because Evil Terminator is already here. Um, well, because they don't want to make have another character. And um, as he's chasing them, they're just shooting down and stuff. And then Major Guy puts a call into the outpost to set up a, a like a an airplane for our heroes while simultaneously trying to stop Evil Terminator from getting to them. And he just does all of this, and you're like, "Wow, do you even know what's happening right now? <laughs> do you even like know who this guy is and why this is happening?" But he just yeah, he just gets the military fully involved, and it's it's really weird. Like, I don't know how else to really to really frame that. It's just like it just happens. And they get access. Yeah. This is the thing. There's so many set pieces to do. Um, and this film is not exactly long. Like it's two hours. Like you have mm. all of these different huge moments. So they have to jump, 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 jump. And um, he he does get shot, which is why he's like all of a sudden like you know rushing everything and doing all that shit. Yeah. But it's not. Well, like back surely in- his career is over. <laughs> well, yeah, they, they, they sh- it should have been take me to a hospital, and then he could have gone, oh, yeah, I got shot by a mugger, and then job done. Yeah, that's right, kind of mean, he's, like, not having normal reactions. It's like he knows it's a Terminator, that this is a desperate situation you need full force for. It's like, how do you know that? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, he, he just fully <clears throat> believes that the threat is a robot from the future, like, what? immediately. In a few minutes, all of that doesn't matter anyway. So well, do you remember um, left it out. the helicopter, like, gets... Like it's some, it, it sort of. So the reason why they're able to get into the airplane without getting fucking killed by uh, Evil Terminator is because he like gets trapped. His helicopter gets trapped on like a tire with a chain on it. Remember that? Yeah, so yeah. I couldn't really make out what it was, but it was really weird. He's like, t- th- 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 it gets tethered to it by that, and it's just like, yeah. what? And it's like, yep, that's the thing that happens. Yeah. Okay, and it's obviously to just give our heroes a bit more time, um, which they do. They get into the airplane. He tries to get on it. Is there anything else I'm missing? I think that's just it. No, um, they drive into the base. They, I don't know, try to stop him, but fail. Oh, I, I mentioned it to you guys, but it's a it's a very minor positive. Um, Arnie sees him coming, and it shows us his visor, and it's it looks just like it does the original oh, films, yeah. which is like yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it's, it's HUD it shows up like that. Yeah, because cool. all of the new Terminator HUDs are all like super high tech advanced as they probably would be. It's just that Arnie's. Just Good job, guys. You nailed that minute portion of the film. <laughs> um, oh, I, I'm just thinking now, thank fuck they didn't bring back uh, uh, old but not obsolete. Oh, God, yeah. Thank <laughs> <laughs> fuck they didn't bring that back. Because... Uh... We get it, Arnold. You're still virile. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, they right, get into this um... like, big aircraft carrier, vehicle carrier thing. They're driving off. And, um,. Uh, like they have a fight, but Evil Terminator loses, and uh, you could argue it's almost worse that he that he gets onto there and then falls off because he falls off into the middle of like what could be like a suburb. He just hits some guy's shed. Yeah, and, uh, no, only, only him, not, not the joke. car. He got <laughs> fucked off with. He's 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 on his own and hit a shed. That's that's it, and he gets out of it. That's when he delivers uh, that line we've been talking about, where he just says, Is it "Just sorry about the shed." Sorry about your shed, yeah. yeah. Sorry about yeah. your shed. It would yeah, almost but... be funnier if he literally said nothing. It's so nonchalant, and it's like, why is he like like this? Yeah. You know? <laughs> I don't really get it's that. Like, he's it's cracking weird. jokes. <laughs> like, he doesn't have to, like, kill them. He, he can just walk off, be- and like unless they, like, try stopping him, and then, like, he just stabs them or whatever. I'm fine with that. He doesn't have to just murder for the sake of it. But he's also just, like, kind of, like, got, he's, got a, he's got humor to it. And it's like, mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So I'm just going to have to drop out at this point. Um, I'm exhausted, so I'll see you all at some point later. Not like 20 minutes left. No, I'm, I'm, I'm dying. Wow. 
not a real Terminator fan. I see. Hang on, hang on, dude. Hang on, dude. Let me get. Let, let me mix up like insulin and like uh, penicillin. <laughs> and, like, <laughs> we, we we know it. It's, it's, it's legit. Um, proposals. Yeah. See you, dude. See, see you. Ya. Bye. What a massive. I know. So. <laughs> Like I said, they're on the airplane, they were traveling at high speed as the guy dropped off, and then they just travel forward. I'm skipping over a little bit here, but we'll go back. He does eventually get on their tail with an airplane, close enough to crash into them with his. And that time jump is absolutely insane. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Like, he um, managed to get back to a base, commandeer a ship, launch, and catch up to them. Like, I don't understand. Yeah, I'm I'm pa I'm paused for a second. What, do yeah. you know? Do you remember what happened to the general guy? Because I can't, I can't remember what happened to him. Like after oh, the he just stays. He just stays there. Does oh, he? I can't remember if he yeah. got off the, just... the aircraft or not. I know they, they I, drive well, I know he... the drive into the into the aircraft carrier uh, air carrier whatever it is uh, with the van, and he's like, "I'm going to cover as long as I can." Where I just think, "Why? Yeah, because he didn't Why board you? the plane, did he?" <laughs> yeah, because he never got on the plane because he was shot, and he was already like, you know, oh yeah. This has already gone too far. Bullshit. But it just it goes like, stand down. There are something, something mercenaries. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get them the airplane. And yeah, they're, they're under like, okay. my protection. Blah blah blah. Yeah. And, uh, and then they have their little shootout at the back of the of the plane. Fair sort of thing to bring up here as well for people who are following along with this plot but are not fully understanding everything we're putting up because we haven't explained everything. They did mm -hmm. not use the EMP while he was chasing them in any way, oh, shape, no. or form. They probably should have, uh, especially when he was incapacitated with Arnie doing the back and forth. That would be a great time to have used it. Um, oh, wouldn't that have fucked up their plane, though? Why? Oh, you mean because they would have EMP'd the airplane as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If, it, if it was that powerful to destroy this figure, it's going to be... I mean, at that point, you'd probably be like, set it back down immediately. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's not going to be a short wave burst. It's going to it's gonna take out the plane and everyone. Well, it would take out Arnie. Arnie. Um, yeah, and, and Grace, to a degree, it would, like, cripple her or something for a while if she couldn't move her. Yeah, I wonder if that would be that would happen or not. They never bring that up. They never bring up... I thought they were going to bring up that Arnie would be killed by it if it went off, but they were... Well, she's got enhanced eyes and everything else via mm -hmm. like el electronics or whatever. That's gonna like blind her and like probably yeah, stop should her do breathing. Something. Like her, um, her lungs or her heart are gonna fuck up. It, everyone's gonna die except but Sarah. But I mean, <laughs> they had a chance to use it for a while. Like throughout that whole scene, they could have just been like, "This is it. He's right there." It's not exactly yeah. short wave. It's not like a meter, is it? Well, no. It looks like it's two grenades in a briefcase. Mm -hmm. Like that's yeah. Uh, you, you know, it's like, it's like <laughs> military. Briefcase, you know, like reinforced metal or whatever. What you need to do um, is give one to Arnie to activate and get ready to throw while they were in the car, and he gets out. And when the uh, uh, helicopters come to him, throw it. He's a Terminator; they can throw accurately. Yeah, but they and... didn't have a, they, they didn't have a properly planned kill box, man. Okay, well, yeah. Either way, that's that's one half of it. The other half yeah. is that um, they look in their EMP box. It's got it's got three bullets in it. And then they open the case, and uh, one bullet missed, and one bullet went through one of the EMP grenades, and the other bullet went through the other EMP grenade. No, I think actually two went through one, and one went through the other one. I could have sworn it just had one hole in each, but yeah, I could be wrong. Um, it the doesn't is, matter. The point is, the EMPs are, are done. They don't have EMPs anymore. Because for some reason, I guess they left it out in the open. <laughs> <laughs> that's just how that works. Yeah, and, and, then, and then there's just basically a shrug moment of like, oops, well, I guess we gotta do something else now, you know. Uh, so that black soldier guy just died for nothing. Okay. Uh, I assume he, he, he died. died. <laughs> well, I, I can't remember if he died, though. This is it. He, oh. he, he Does he get, he just, just get shot and they forget about him? Well, he's oh, yeah, fuck like, him. Maybe, because they bring him onto the airplane because they're talking to him. I can't remember if he, like, hobbles off it. <laughs> I, 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 this, is, this is it. I really can't remember with this film because at this point, when, when they're going through these parts of the film, it, I'm really, like, just bored because I was like, yeah, yeah, he's chasing them. Okay, now they're going to, like, do a chase scene in the air. Okay, 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 now we're going to have some more plot. Okay. <laughs> um, then we get our next lore dump. He explains that uh, Danny is the hero of humanity. He's going to, like, bring everybody to... I don't know. Do they actually mention that they they don't say anything about winning a war, do they? No, it no, it's not about winning. It's not about winning an award, but it's, it's it's leading the revolution, you know. Yeah. Um. They don't explain. She she says that she sent Grace back, but they don't explain how. 
Like, because they just assume yeah. that it feels as if they're like, well, it's Terminator, of course they have a time machine. It's like, no, no, they have to <laughs> explain this shit. You have to, because T2 and T1 both explained how that's a possibility. China yeah, invents but... it, which is believable to a degree if it's just a matter of technology. Those guys, you know, the machines work, they make better machines and make better machines, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, so they made the time machine, they sent a Terminator back, but they made it just too late because they, they lose the war just as the humans take over, and then the humans use it to send people back. It's like, okay, I can sort of do that, even though technically shouldn't time have changed immediately after... Ah, fuck it, I can't be able to think about that right now. It, it, it <laughs> depends on how you think time works. But in this no, film, yeah. they're just like, oh, this is a time machine. <laughs> You're like, well, <laughs> wait, what? Because this is the thing, if they didn't even win the war, how do the humans have a time machine? Like, how did that happen? No. Uh, well, they, they, uh, in this one, they have cyborg technology as well, and they're not just, like, survive it. Like, in the... Well, in the old past that now does not exist, I suppose, or the old future past that doesn't exist, fuck, it's confusing. Um... <laughs> It's all dirty and like it's all 80s style weapon with like the plasma rifles and that, and they're all pulse rifles. And then in this, it's uh, just regular ballistic guns, but they also have cyborg uh, technologies. It, it's, it's kind of weird. It's like, uh, is humanity on its like last like brink, or but because it's still like developing technology, it's still like discovering new sciences well, they have the or ability whatever. To augment people. Yeah, they, they, yeah. They, it, it's like that, this is not like. Uh, I, I don't know. It's, it, they don't. They don't explain it, and they don't. They don't cover enough of it. But they, but it's there to like raise a question, and it's like fuck's sakes, what are you doing? You yeah. The point off. of the scene <laughs> is to reveal that it's not Danny's son. It's Danny. Danny. Yeah. Oh. Dun, dun, dun. And then all. And then all you sexist bigots get fucking shamed on for who you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and like I said, it's just getting flashbacks already of the fucking comments from Sarah. It's and your womb. <laughs> and, 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 and oh my god, and the fucking the cunt, you know, the fucking the bitch. She says, she literally says, um, you are not uh the mother of some man who saves the future. <laughs> you are the future. And I just fucking shrunk inside my into why, myself. <laughs> why does it matter if it's a guy so much? It's like guys, it's okay. He saves the universe <laughs> in reference to uh, humans. It, and Sarah Connor literally spells it out for the whole audience. She's like, you're John Connor. Like you're John. You, yeah. yeah, you're yeah, you're not me, you're John. It's Joan like, Connor. What the Joan Connor. Well, I mean, you know, like, if we get meta for a second, they killed yeah, the what, savior yeah. of humanity and replaced him with a girl who saves humanity. And you're like, okay. <laughs> that's odd. <laughs> it's like, well, you know, that's just how it works now. Well, they're, they're just going for this, oh, yeah, the universe or the, like, the future is cyclical and it'll always repeat itself or it'll always shape up to be this some kind of thing. It's like, it's always turned into the Matrix where there's going to be there's always a chosen one who will lead the revolution against the machines, and Ooh. it's it, it, in this case, it's the Mexican Danny or whatever. It's like every sequel Terminator film has tried to argue why John would be a good leader, and they try and argue that he's got good tactics, or he, he's good at encouraging people, he's good at putting people together, all that because of Sarah and Kyle's influence that he's knowledgeable, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, his, okay. his upbringing is like... And in this one... They're just like, oh, well, we're going to have it so a different leader leads. And you're like, okay, but what happened to John? Because he would obviously end up leading too with what we know. And it's like, oh, he was killed. <laughs> like, killed by yeah, who? He... When? It's like after T2, he was hit with a shotgun. You're like, what? Yeah, he, he was successfully <laughs> assassinated. Which is the other thing. If they're like trying to kill Danny, like for the, well, for the, well, they're always trying to kill Danny. The two they could have easily like just given up like for a few days and then just left it like, you know, go back to a normal life and then pow, come out again. Because that's, the, that's how they killed John. John got killed just because Sarah was like, oh, let's go to the Bahamas or something, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, but yeah, um, and they get interrupted because Evil Terminator fucking crashes his airplane into theirs, and again, I'm just like, how the fuck did he get here so quickly? But <laughs> that's just a thing now. Then you get the whole scene where they're like in partial zero-G, partially not. They're all floating around, all beating up the Terminator while also trying to survive a falling airplane, and it's kind of just like, you know... Ridiculous. Uh, like, I, there's nothing to really say about choreography because it's all extremely convenient. The way everyone moves around and how everything happens. Yeah. It's still just bouncy, a, bouncy. Pretty much. I still just think of like the epic scenes, like in in T two, like with Arnie with a minigun, like taking out 
well, 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 not taking out any of the police officers, but at the same time shooting them all up just so that they all retreat from uh, uh, the siege against the the uh, Skynet building or whatever, you know? Yeah. Or when he's got to like not wound any of them, and he busts out of the the SWAT van with a gas. Well, he doesn't have a gas mask, but all the rest of them do, and he just like walks around just shooting them whilst they all just like you know pepper spray him with bullets, and like it, it, they never do that. Well, nobody never manages like <clears throat> epic highs with. Uh, action scenes like that in uh, any of the other Terminator films, I don't think. You know? During the fight at one point, Arnie and Evil Man get put right to each other, and Arnie just punches him again and again and again. It's doing nothing, and you're like, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're really, really doing a clever job here. Uh, well, well, this, this is it. Arnie's always been uh, feature creep, like every single film, but he always remains on top. He's like fucking Rocky Balboa, like every time his opponent like always like is one up, he's like still manages to fight him, you know? Yeah, even though he could get well this is the thing, um it's only until right up until the end of the film. The whenever he fights on he doesn't use his stabby weapons. But the second he does it works. And it's just like why didn't you just do that straight away, idiot? <laughs> yeah the, the, this is what I'm all about he just has a gentleman's brawl with him because they don't want to Like he fucking get... tears off his arm, doesn't he? What is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, his character, yeah, his, his plot armor, obviously, but it's it's just really lazy because again, he could just slice his arms off at any given point, and Arnie couldn't, wouldn't even be quick enough to stop it, but he doesn't because reasons. Um, the same way he doesn't just use guns when, like, you know, shooting them or attacking them with a ranged weapon would be the preferable uh, takedown, but instead, you know, he just runs up to them and just tries to stab them, and he always announces himself because. He's never that good at like infiltration because he always reveals himself before he kill goes in for the kill. It's stupid. And, uh, and he, I just remember he blows open the the back with with the grenade launcher, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's one of the many moments where the film just goes dun 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 dun, and then yeah. just <laughs> grenade like, launchers. <laughs> <laughs> Arnie shoot a grenade launcher. That's like he does in the other film. <laughs> like, yeah. Stop it. Brad Fidel should sue the fuck out of all these <laughs> terrible, <laughs> terrible Terminator movies. Oh god. Uh, so this this pause, it's gonna be hard for me to like really structure what happens next. So it's like the airplane pretty much exploding, but they fall out of the airplane in a Humvee that has parachutes on it, and it gets opened up, but just too late, so that they kind of crash into a dam because it's not yeah. enough for them to land on, you know a ground or even water it has to be some structure they're in a yeah. it's a dam huge like industrial dam and um they swing off the edge of it and they're held up by parachutes only and then uh ani is dropped into he's like fighting the terminator in the water they fall into the water and he's fighting him below like at the bottom of it mm -hmm. yeah yeah and, the bed of the river or whatever and he gets uh sort of incapacitated I think that's where they pull pull his arm off, right? They actually like his the yeah, two yeah, evil yeah. Terminators pull on his arm until it breaks off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because because this at this point the Terminator or the evil Terminator is always he's always shedding his his like skin or his metal skin with <laughs> his gooey skin shit. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, is, I, I, like, it is as weird as we make it sound. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And again, it's just not, it's just further proof that like uh, he wasn't like trying hard enough at the start. He, he didn't go with his best plan. He he like you know the fact he, that he can split into two killer robots. It's like you should have just fucking done that to begin with. Like, <laughs> oh, oh shit. Yeah, the time you can assume the identity of anyone is like just assume a random ped and just go off to them. But he, he did it the one time and then he failed miserably because he just brought a fucking shitty pistol and he just ah. Oh, also, um, he didn't learn very much in terms of like he keeps incapacitating Arnie, like throwing him away or pushing him or just breaking an arm off him for some reason. He never actually disables him. It's one of the things I liked about the T-1000 was he was eventually like, okay, you have to be stopped. You're actually getting in the way way too much. Yeah. How that works, I guess. Um, so instead of allowing him to get to the Humvee, they cut it so that it goes underwater and I don't know what I have to say about the realism of that scene, but they're like... Waterproof for a decent amount of time underwater in the Humvee, but then it starts to see thinking. And uh, their plan is to let the place fill with water because, like, Sarah shoots him through the glass, so of course that's going to let water in. And she wants to activate a parachute on him the second he tries to attack them to tangle him up, and then they'll both swim out. Uh, 
seems Ugh. risky to me. <laughs> it's like, all right, I guess this will work, and it does perfectly like that. Uh, uh, well, yeah. Again, he should have had the advantage would have been all his to like just stab them like in water, but they couldn't. Totally, like, yeah, you know. like you can stab through a parachute. Like you just think being underwater, like how like you know flexible, well, how agile you are compared to like you know being like well on ground, you know. Um, and yeah, so they they get up to the surface. Sarah's dislocated her arm, and our hero girl is doing her medicaltisms again. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, she's having a moment, which is, this is what it's just serves yeah. for, it's just a MacGuffin to whenever, it's just like, oh, where's she in this moment, because this is like, this is probably the the, the one with the most characters at any given time in the film, isn't it? Yeah. Like, um... it, like Genesis had three, because they had Sarah, John, and uh, Arnold mm-hmm. Ford, like, towards, you know, it had four towards the end, but, yeah, that's, it's, it's, just, it's just the main cast is there, well, this <clears> one had like, quite a few more extras, you know? Either way, they're outside of the, uh, the, like in entrance to the dam, uh, Sarah's incapacitated to a degree, so is our hero girl, and so it's like you're gonna have to run because it's just you now, he can't protect you. Then Arnie turns up with a syringe, just he said, You dropped this on the airplane. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> that? It's like you forgot this on the airplane. Did he pick that up before all that shit happened, or is it during it? He was like, Oh, a syringe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. Just and yeah, so he gives part it to of her. my compa- new compassion is being very curious about being. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Takes care of your illnesses. He's he's good boy. And so <laughs> she gets fixed up, and then Sarah, by the way, despite her arm being like not usable according to, people, she's able to wield a shotgun after that just fine. So I guess, mm-hmm. yeah, not work that badly. Um, okay, and back wouldn't affect her at all. <laughs> talking about how there's just not enough time for the movie, right? So they, they're on foot, they've got weapons, everyone's back together, they haven't got their EMPs, and they know that Terminator Man is coming. It's like, right, what's the plan? And they're like, well, we need to run. And then uh, Danny is like, no, this is our kill box. And it's like, this what? is our stand. Like, I, I, did, I, did, I, did, I was like, what do you mean this is our kill? We can't kill him. <laughs> we, we <don't> yeah. <laughs> and I and, think they have one shotgun. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> and their fucking plan oh, they, is to hit yeah. him with a hammer and a chain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, they, they've got, like, the most primitive weapons going, and this is, like, now they're ready for the fight. It, it, as if, like, it's some, you know, shitty show-in jo- uh, film or anime or something like that, where, like, you know, like, the friendship comes together, now they're ready to take on the bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they try to kill him with all the things he can duplicate or, like, replicate with or mold to his body, they used to try to kill him, and it's just like, can y'all be creative for, like, a fucking minute? Like, this this is not gonna, you, this is only remember, gonna help him. Remember when, uh, Adi gets hit to, like, an area, and he accidentally drops the, um, his, like, the hammer? hammer and he's like, yeah. no! It's <laughs> oh, <laughs> <man. laughs> Well, yeah, it's like, it's his best weapon gone, and it's like, oh. <laughs> now what? It's like, oh, look at that, a turbine. Yeah, it's utterly hilarious. Um, then uh, that, that's it, though. That they just they keep beating him with things, and so as a viewer, you'd rightfully be wondering, like, what the fuck's gonna happen because this isn't gonna do anything. And uh, mm-hmm. there's just this turbine to to the right of them that's spinning really fast, and it's like, oh, throw him in there, I guess. I don't know. Um, which they manage to, but not at the, at the cost of Arnie getting almost destroyed and. Not terminate a good girl getting stabbed in the chest, which, again, because she's like human, that fucks her up quite a bit. Um, I think you guys may have noticed that Sarah gets like grabbed and pushed by the Terminator several times, but never stabbed because the plot armor is nice and thick. Yeah. Before they want to bring her back, it's good to be able to promote the movie <laughs> well, with Sarah. Well, if her skin is paper thin, she'd be dead. <laughs> that's the, yeah, that's the thing. She keeps getting thrown around, but she's okay. She didn't break a hip or anything. <laughs> um. Yeah, they, they toss him in there, and um, it all explodes, and he comes out of it. Like, you'd expect that he'd come out of it maybe with, um, you know, like, like he'd, he'd reform. He'd just be annoyed, but, like, he gets full-on fucked up. Like, uh... Like, yeah, he's, like, missing an arm, I think, and... Yeah, like, it's like very little his... of him remaining. He has to, like, limp toward them. That's how useless he is. Oh, yeah. wow. Apparently, all his skin is gone as well, so yeah, that's he's lost just... all of his goop. I don't know why he wouldn't just detach that from himself and well, get it yeah. out of there. Are they but, saying that the okay. fire got rid of the goop? Because I thought that that didn't do Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah. 
<laughs> like, uh, so Sarah uh, is okay. The other two are pretty much knocked out. And then she walks up to this, like, fire. And she's like, he's not dead. Because she can hear, like, noises. And she's just aiming her gun at the fire. And then he jumps out of it and, like, you know, pushes her aside. I'm like, why the fuck would you walk right up to a fire? Just like, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's in the fire. I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, luckily she doesn't get killed. Because obviously can't kill Sarah at this point. Like I said, I think if they made a sequel to the film, they need her for marketing. Be like, look, it's like yeah. T2 still. <laughs> Please watch our movie. <laughs> Please watch it. Um, and yeah, because Grace is autism she's like, you need to cut my power core out of me, shove it into his head, because it'll kill him. Which is just, like, out of nowhere. I don't remember her setting that up before. It's just like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> sure, I guess. Um, I think right before they 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 have their last fight, she's just like, "I have something in my body that can kill, but that makes me die." And no, we can't do that. Fuck uh, off. And then they have to do it anyways. Yeah, it's it's, it's such an interesting moral conundrum. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the point is that the big payoff is going to be our protagonist has to tear out the power core of the hero in order to defeat the villain. Okay. Yeah. So she does. She starts fingering her. Yeah, it's kind of like <laughs> what I thought. What I thought was interesting is like she didn't really tell her exactly where it was. She could have stabbed her, and poked around, been like, "Is this it?" She's like, "No, uh, oh, no, no, there." I'm sorry. There. Um, but yeah, so she gets it. She uh, she runs over to. Do you remember this bit? She like has. She wants to have a fucking fight with the Terminator. Like, Fuck you, motherfucker! She's like hitting it with a bat. And it's like, dude, <laughs> what I'm done with your system. <laughs> it's such a like. Uh, feels good moment for like I guess people who like this protagonist. Is there anyone? Anyone out there? Like, no, uh -huh. no, no, no. Okay. no. Send um, me an email if you. If she's not even a there, character. So I can delete it. <laughs> the character is like reluctant leader, but is also just awesome. Come on, <laughs> gonna get there. <laughs> gonna get there, guys. Um, she can barely hold a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. You see her struggling well, with it when she was shooting him? She gets up with the power thing and she puts it in her pocket. And it's like, dude, that's your thing. That's your main thing. Like, what <laughs> Don't do you put do? it in your pocket. What but if you she, lose it? She shoots it. Uh, she says motherfucker a whole bunch of times, I'm pretty sure. But she shoots the Terminator several times with the shotgun. It doesn't do anything. And this is what I meant by bat. She starts hitting him with the shotgun. It's over <laughs> and it's like, that's not doing anything. You gotta hit him with the... And so she tackles him, tries to stab him with the thing. But then she fucks it up. And uh, this is something that bothers me every time I see it. The Terminator grabs her leg and pulls it back. If the Terminator's got you by the leg, that ankle is going away. That is yeah, you can crush it. Mm -hmm. Just yeah. gone. And uh, they're struggling, and they're a good, like, fucking five or six meters away. And Sarah sees it, and she starts kicking Artie, saying, Wake up. <laughs> He's a fucking <laughs> robot. Like, Wake I up, Carl! <laughs> Come on, Carl! Wake up! <laughs> and fucking kicking him wakes him up. It's like, oh, okay. There's no like electricity or anything. He just he just wakes up and he just turns up next to the fight and saves the day. And he's just like, oh, did he crawl over or something? He's like, no, it's just, it's just fine. And uh, yeah, the the thing goes into the bad man's skull and protagonist girl uh, saves the day almost. Um, but Arnie has to finish it off. Grabs bad Terminator, both fall down a big tunnel, and uh, mm -hmm. the, the, our heroes look at them as they're about to explode, and Arnie says, for John, as he blows up. <laughs> that really pissed me off. <laughs> so, yeah. mm. This film had the T-800, uh, or T-600, I, I can't remember right now because I want to get on to the main point. It, it be, you know, you have all of T-2 happen, and then it's like these people telling you a fan fiction, like, how sad would it be if that Terminator killed John and he felt bad about it and said, and died later and said, for John? It's just like, what the <laughs> fuck? What do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what, what did any of that happen? You're like, he's just, he dies. He, how poetic. He died to, to, to redeem himself from killing John. It's like, what do we redeem? He's a robot. <laughs> like, he doesn't, like, I don't understand. He's a fucking toaster. He doesn't it's, know that about the shit. It's can you imagine just in the beginning he just kills John, just goes over to Sarah's like I owe you one, and just leaves. <laughs> <laughs> and they have all of his skin burn off first, so it's the Terminator itself, like the model doing it. 
<clears throat> just to really be like, look, it's T2 and it's dying for John or something. Just, what, what are you doing? Oh, It's like very uh, angelic. I hated it. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, that's pretty much it. Like, they die and then uh, Danny goes to see uh, Grace as a child playing in like a park. And she Which looks is creepy as hell. Yeah, it is creepy. It doesn't look too far away from her age from when, you know, thingy happens. It's just like, man, is it gonna happen then? Like, is that. Do you yeah. think that's what they're going for at the end of the film? Because Sarah's like, you better prepare. Yeah, it happens like next week. <laughs> <laughs> the Terminators really should have sent more people further back. That's clearly <laughs> their fuck up. Um, again, again, it's, it's one of those deals they just don't care about. It's just. Mm hmm. Does. Does Arnold describe the timeline he's from as deleted? I don't remember. He says he's I from. He, a... I think he says uh, uh, it failed. I don't know if it's deleted yeah, or something. Yeah, he says the failed for sure. <clears throat> yeah, because that's his, that's that's his argument for why they shouldn't do it, <laughs> or why the or why the evil t the evil Rev Nine shouldn't kill uh, Danny. Uh, someone in chat said an advanced enough robot could conceivably feel anything we can feel. He actually says that he can't, and that makes <clears> him sad. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel. That makes me sad. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's about like he says like uh, about how he can't love. Honestly, it, 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 oh my not... god, I'm just I'm just remembering when he when the he sends the family away and they're driving away. He looks down at the ground, really sorrow, really sorrow. <laughs> It's yeah. really sad. Look on his face. I, I was expecting like a robo tear coming down. It's like, don't do it, movie. robo don't tear. Don't do it. <laughs> oh fuck, that's another future armor reference again. And the, the the robot that cries and makes itself melt and explode. <laughs> <It's> just... <laughs> uh, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I, I don't think there's anything else. Um, yeah. Sarah kind of surrounds like you need to be ready or something, and then they drive off into the sunset, and that's it. Um, yeah. That's, uh, I guess the obvious question would be, like, you're gonna make a video? The thing about making a video right now is that, um, I feel like I'm not gonna catch everything that's wrong with this film without a HD copy, but I also don't necessarily, I feel like by the time I get to the point of waiting for an HD copy, I might not even... It'll mm -hmm. be something worse. Probably. <laughs> I mean, episode 9 is not gonna be out, like, it's gonna be out soon, so I'm thinking maybe if I try and do my first ever attempt at what a video? <laughs> Like, or something. Um, you fucking what? <laughs> I'm interested in doing it, uh, but right now I've got this friend over my house and we're trying to like, just tiz me around having fun. So it's going to be another week at least until I would want to plan out like a big thing to make sure I cover everything. I'm sure it's my fault now. <laughs> it's Metal's fault, 100%. Someone actually asked, why aren't you two on the same mic if you're over? As if to prove that you're not here. <laughs> 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 like, he's, he's in a different room with a different setup. It's over. Yeah, just um, make a bit of a sound. But, yeah, so a lot of people in chat are saying, like, uh, nobody cares about this film or whatever. It's like, I, I mean, it's not about whether or not people want to see a video from it. It's, I really like Terminator. I'm going to make a Genesis video eventually. But, like, this is, you know, my chance to be able to talk about why Terminator 2 is good, at least to a smaller degree, as well as while fucking shitting on this disaster. Uh, too. And, I th you know, it could be fun, as well as just, um... <clears throat> Exploring why it's terrible. Are you going to make anything related to this, uh, J. Longbone? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> um, you know, shit. I have no, f no, you know, no, uh, no. <laughs> See, like, here's here's my here's my thing with this. Movie. I I would do a review of Genesis over this because with Genesis is so uh, funny, mm -hmm. and I can make so many jokes. This one is just fucking unpleasant. For me to watch, <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's the final death nail in the franchise. I don't give, and it's like it's like I give a shit about how bad it is, but I don't at the same time. It's it's no, it's a numbing feeling. I don't I don't care. I don't, I don't care, and I do care. But Genesis, <laughs> like, but but Terminator Genesis, I could like I can make some pure gold out of that piece of shit because they they did Kyle Reese so dirty. Oh in that yeah, movie. they did everybody <laughs> dirty. So Sarah funny. Kyle. Fucking T-800. Oh, oh, God. Even the T-1000. It's like they turned him into an Asian man for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Genesis pissed me off way more than uh, that. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, I think I made a comment on the trailer when it first came out. Like, um, oh, I, I, it was a line from the trailer. Um, like, oh, we changed the time. Like, everything's changed. R one thousand Asian. <laughs> that was the comment I made on the trailer a long time ago. So weird. The Genesis is definitely worse than this, and also probably more hilarious. But this one was still a really bad attempt. It probably ranks below Terminator Four. Does it rank below Terminator Three? What do you reckon, everyone? <sighs> yeah, I'd yeah, say it's yeah. Below three. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, they've cheated in this one. In Terminator 3, they were like, nah, Terminator 2 was wrong. And it's like, okay, that's your take, fine. In this one, they were like, no, it's right, but we get to do everything again anyway. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> it's cheating. I'd um, watch all the other bad Terminator movies over this one any day. Because at least you, some of them you can have fun with, fun with. Some of them are just like, Aren't, aren't as bad as you thought they were previously, and or they're just funny. This one is just like bad. This is fucking bad. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna read the super chats that we've had throughout the stream. That'll probably wrap it up. Uh, anyone is welcome to stay or go for however long as they want. I'm trapped here. But you <laughs> yeah, are I'm trapped. Gonna, yeah. I'm gonna uh, <laughs> duck out now. Yeah, because I'm gonna go get some food. And it was a great film and a great stream. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. It was it was great watching that film with with you guys. It was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, right, but yeah, have fun. Stop. Bye. Bye. What a nerd. <laughs> All right then. Uh, first one is help. I got caught in my own zipper again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't expect that. Uh, yay! Efap to poo on Terminator. Let's go. Um. This isn't like a main EFAP episode or anything, it's, it just goes in line with what I was doing with Game of Thrones and stuff, it's just a conversation rant on this. That's why Rags isn't here as well. But, it does lead me into saying that there won't actually be an EFAP this Sunday. Uh, Rags is on a holiday and I am uh, busy, so I'm going to take this weekend off. Um, all of you in chat now know, so it will be said in the Discord as well, possibly on Twitter, probably not because I never update terrible. That'll be, uh, FYI. But, uh, yeah. we'll be coming back, don't worry. We might even do a double episode next week, because we've got loads of things to do. And episode oh, no. 9 is I'm around the corner. The ones. Oh, you don't have to Just... be there for both of them. You don't have to... I probably will be, because I have nothing better to do, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still off work, so... I probably yes. just get fucked up at the second, like, last time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, smaller senpai. Need to say I'm a diehard fan, bro, bro. They don't want you. They just want your woob. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, man. Welsh comes from Old English Walsh being foreign. Well, we're, we're a scary people. Us. They're all very scary indeed. Can confirm. Hello. Hello. Hi. El Camino thoughts. Uh, I thought it was fine. Right. It was fine. A couple things I really liked in it, a couple stuff I didn't, and I thought the whole thing kind of was unnecessary, but... Uh... But it works, you know? Yeah, it, it doesn't destroy anything no, break, no. of Breaking Bad, so that's that's a huge plus, I would say. Uh, oh, it's, it's, in it's, my, okay. it's, it's in my top five movies for this year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so. It's actually true. <laughs> So uh, the, that just tells you how sad of a situation that list is, but okay. <laughs> um, also, meme stream date guess? Uh, there is no guess, yeah, cause it's based on whether or not people are available. The, I guess an estimation, and so when I say this, it means that it's not going to happen as a guarantee, guys. Don't say I said it's definitely happening. But next Sunday, maybe. Maybe. All right. Uh-oh. EFAP movies Dracula 1992 with squirting Keanu Reeves. Could, could happen. Gary Oldman's iconic roles, I'm sure. Do you think Wolf will return for episode 9 discussions? Uh, possibly. Cannot promise left or right or up and or down. All of the directions. Oh, okay. Um, it's a three tops. Oh, right, when we were giving it an out of 10. Yeah, I think I'd probably be comfortable with a three. I think a three uh, is... You guys were right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What do you give it out of ten, j -Long? Uh, wait, what were we talking about again? Uh, Dark Fight. <laughs> Dark Fight? Oh, shit. Like a two. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's not very good, is the conclusion. Uh, yeah, what what did we say last night? Like, every, every like, all the action scenes were, like, neutral. It's like, yeah, yeah they, they were whatever. Fine. And there was a couple of laugh lines I, I giggled at. Yeah. Was... Yeah. And the special effects were okay. Yeah. I don't remember any decent shots. I have to watch it again. Like, yeah, the script yeah, was... was... Yeah. Yeah. Or is hacked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Cersei's a better Sarah Connor than Danny. I mean, Danny wasn't Sarah Connor, but uh, that's still true. <clears throat> Exposes the janitor as the cosmic chicken's keeper. He asked about what dragons when he asked about dragons when it gave matriculations to his sight. Now he praises them as penance. I have no idea what that. But I agree. Oh, I mean, yeah, of course. I'm a statement. We don't... putting down my agreements. I need a bigger roof. Oh, bra. Get it. Mauler, when are you streaming Man of Medan with Flumpledingus Head? That'll be October 31st, starting at probably like 8 p.m. BST. There. Me and Metal. Plenty of. No. It was a repurpose of the first two, writing John Connor and the T800 out of their stories and replacing their roles with gals because everything is about them nowadays, while stealing elements of the films they erased. Oops. Um. Yeah, I can I can agree with uh, mechanically how they did all of that. Um, I remember when the poster came out and they were like, "This one's got all women in it." I remember, like, okay. And the first question I had is like, "If Sarah's there, what happened to John?" <laughs> got the answer. Uh, would you be willing to watch the Gamergate Law and Order SVU episode on EFAP? Good advice. <laughs> <laughs> what? I remember that. I saw oh, many reviews. Boy. I don't know what that is. Do I want it, to know? Probably not. It, it oh god. It's well, I, I'm an avid fan. Well, I was an avid fan of SVU. It's basically an episode. They do episodes sometimes on special shit that's non, like this ra rape related kind of. But like it's it's about this chick who gets uh who like who she's like Anita Anita Sarkeesian and she gets <laughs> harassed by gamers about this Antifa gaming <laughs> fucking group. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and she okay. gets harassed and raped and. There's this whole kerfuffle around that. It's as really as Chad pointed out, isn't there a scene where um, they go to a crime scene and they're like, oh my god, he killed a person. The one who describes it as... No! <laughs> no! Uh, they, they go see one of the victims. Like, the vi they go see one of the victims after she gets raped. And they were like, what happened? And, and she's like, they leveled up. <laughs> <laughs> um, so fucking retarded! We might, yeah, we might check that out for EFAP. Uh, especially if Bell hasn't seen it. Especially is if Rags like has them too, that would be great. It's like an actual episode of CSI. Yep. I remember loads of people covering it. it was... What? How did I never hear about this? It's Law and Order SVU. I don't know if... Special Victims Unit, yes. Good vibes sent out to all consensually against your will. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll think about it. Mola massages massives maliciously. Also, <laughs> hi, Rav. Uh, I like Hello. that. He would say hi if he was... John dies so much for Kyle Reese's sacrifice then. Well, see, this is, the film is trying to say that all was successful. John yeah. did stop Judgment Day with Sarah, and so the, the whole future where everything goes wrong for them never happens. Woohoo. <clears throat> Unfortunately for them, Legion happens. That's what the film's saying. Mm -hmm. So technically, Kyle Reese wasn't sacrificed for no reason, but it's, it, like I said, it's cheating. It's really cheating. Yeah, um, this is pretty dumb. Matt Mole, you should watch Because Science video on the Last Jedi plot holes on EFAB. I'm curious what you think. Fair enough. I have no that joke. <clears throat> Isn't it bad to kill people in the past when the future relies on certain things happening? What if one of those cops happened to be the reason someone didn't die or was at the spot they needed? Well, this is the thing. The second someone goes back, you'll get a different future. But how different, I suppose? As long as... Mm -hmm. She lives. Apparently, everything will work out. Hey, Muller, have you seen One Punch Man season two? I recommend reading the manga. It's a superior experience. I still need to see it. Haven't yet. Weird mixed thing. I'm trying to avoid. Before I see it though. Uh, if Tywin is the apex homosexual, who is the apex heterosexual and apex bisexual? Well, I don't think that's going to get revealed yet. Like. 
or even later seasons of EFAP that will discover those things. Can't just throw it all out, you know? Yeah, we need to wait for uh, things. Uh, Dave Kellen's video on this is excellent. You've seen it? I have not, but... Um, uh, can you ask Kyle Shapiro the Orphan 9 bathwater question? Bigger Tadia... Bigger... Bill Gatius Dinkelschlorb. Uh, that's a quote from that philosopher. Oh, okay. <clears throat> also, thanks for popping up uh, mutually. I was getting real depry over my empty fucking life. I hope you enjoy a uh, discussion on... Getting out mid-sentence. I'm trying to stay close adored it. I have to look at my uh, noise gate, I guess. Because two people complained about that. It's bad. Uh, was Carl's chip mentioned as being on read only or write, read and write like in T2's direction cut, since now that's a default cut? Well, according to some people in chat, the canon version is that it doesn't need to be reset, but if I make a video, I'll mention that, but I still thought they fucked up. Uh, John Oliver said it was okay in his last video. John Oliver reviews films? I mean, good for him, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, quick but important question. Mola, how many Resident Evil games have you personally finished? We got... I nearly finished Resident Evil 1, but I never did. Uh, I finished Resident Evil 4 like 7,000 times. Finished 5 quite a few times. And I think I finished 6. I can't remember if I got through it because I didn't like it. And then I finished 7. Um... Resident Evil 2 and 3 are the ones that I really need to finish. Oh yeah, I got through most of the 2 remaster, but I didn't finish that either. So, my history with Resident Evil is strange. Getting there. Alternative movie. Sarah and John Connor by Norman Reedus team up to save members of his future team while trying to eliminate leftover Skynet AI. I would prefer that. Mm -hmm. I'd prefer a lot of things over what we got. <laughs> <clears throat> Almost everything. Uh, time travel rules. Shove your deus ex up your bum. Yes. Alright. What time travel do you prefer, T3 onwards or Dark Fate? Oh, do I prefer T3 or Dark Fate? It would be T3. Yeah. Um, and I'm not a fan of T3, really. It's fine. Uh, Mola, totally off topic, but what's your opinion on the first Jeepers Creepers movie? I think it's one of the greatest monster movies ever made. Uh, I, I remember liking it. I only saw it when it first came out. And I remember being like... Man, when he finds his, like, lair, and it's a bunch of bodies that have been, like, nailed to the ceiling and all different walls, I was like, dude, creepy shit. And the monster's thing being that he, like, takes parts of people and then attaches them to himself, I was just like, yep, sufficiently scary in its own way. But yeah, I remember liking it. I'd have to rewatch it, though. Um, from T3 to Genesis, where does this one rank? Well, like I said, it's worse... Worse than T3 and Salvation, better than Genesis. Yes. World we're in. Uh, recovering, from a ven recovering from a venomous snake bite, at least finally getting some time off work to chill and catch some live e-fapping. Cheers, mate. Jeez, I hope you're alright, man. <laughs> I bet it was a snake bite. That's... I hope you got some revenge on the snake shad style. Sword. Any thoughts on Robert Eggers' The Lighthouse? I have not seen it. Um, I know I want to, though. Very interesting. Um, gonna have to listen to this on Moolah since The Outer Worlds just came out and it requires my undivided attention. But anyways, guys, my condolences for your brains and Linda Hamilton. <laughs> yeah, enjoy Outer Worlds. <laughs> uh, Dark Fate refers to the box office dubbers. Oh, I will, no. <laughs> I'll be interested to see if they, uh, if they flop or not. It'll be... I feel like it, at this point it might just be a um, break-even sort of situation, I don't know. Uh, Legion is just Skynet with ADHD. Pretty much just is Skynet. Um, so First Predator is about autism being more powerful than intergalactic aliens, and now Terminator is about some diabetic lesbian being more powerful than a robotic <laughs> bodybuilder from the future. <laughs> oh my God, diabetic all lesbian. <laughs> They're all in the same universe. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say, uh, clearly this is all- they're, they're doing work to connect them all up, it makes sense. The guy's complaining that it, like, doesn't make sense when clearly all of this is a big shared universe. Now we just need Alien to do something. Please no. How are all my fellow irredeemable twisted shells of bed doing today? Oh, um, just wonderfully. 
I don't know if you Zombies. knew this, long Bone, but that's how me and Rags were referred to on a discussion about EFAP. We are irredeemable <laughs> twisted shells of bed. <laughs> oh, God. That's how they see, like, EFAP and everything. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> what is wrong with you? Well, Sitting there creative. making fun of Star Wars. It's you sick bastard! <laughs> Uh, finally made a live stream slash cleared the past EFAPs. Oh, there you go. Good Let's, job. Yeah, nice. Uh, haven't seen uh, Dark Fate yet. Is it roof worthy? Hashtag kick J. Oh, it's definitely roof worthy. Definitely. Roof worthy. No, no basically, that just means Raw will have his way. The film. Uh, Don't worry already. about it. Uh, Terminator <clears throat> Duck Feet. I'll be quack. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, they make Sarah a failure to build up the new girl. Yeah, well, this is the thing. We didn't really talk about it, but, like, having Sarah fail to protect John, it's like, ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that's a big no-no. Hmm. Yeah, she's an old drunken boomer now. <laughs> <laughs> I get blackout drunk and hunt Terminators. It's like, I think those two sentences contradict. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, somewhere there is a pile of squirrels stuffed with cell phones that we use to contact Sarah Connor. <laughs> oh no. But you'd have to put the squirrel into a bag of uh, chips, as, as, as everyone in chat wanted me to say. Uh, Tim Miller says Terminator Dark Fate will scare the shit out of misogynistic internet trolls. <laughs> nah, it'll just, only empower them because... It would confuse they well, well, them. They, they, <laughs> right, they, <laughs> they fucked up Sarah Connor and then, like, they're... Their lead chick is like a blank slate, and the other chick is a blank slate who who needs constant sustenance to fucking <laughs> succeed at her job, which is uh, like completely inconsistent. Like it's I don't I fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> it's so hard to think about. Just fuck it. Also, their messages with that are way too weak to even be able to say that. Yeah. Like I. I, I, I like the whole misogynistic thing. I don't think. Oh yeah, I, honestly, if you'd all. ask me if it's an anti-men pro-women film, I'd probably be like, uh, I guess, but like, it's not as overt as you'd expect. Yeah, it, there's there's hints, but it's not like the message of the film. Exactly. Still waiting for more of that from Batwoman. Uh, <laughs> give me. I, I, I want some cringe oh, lines. Only two days. We can watch the next episode. I'm fucking hyped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, same here. Same here. Uh, discovered Jay Longbone's channel through EFAP, and after watching EFAP 50, I subbed. Loved your stuff, girl. Thank you, thank and you. I was gonna say, we're, we're on a similar pathway right now. Uh, Jay Longbone and EFAP both tackling Batwoman. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. Augmented human equals cyborg. No! That's your preferred pronouns, augmented human. Don't say oh, cyborg, no. that's fucked up. Um, Just fuck you up. Well, my squirrel phone idea was wrong. On a side note, perhaps the future humans still care about ethics, and that's why they only upgrade the wounded. <laughs> uh, they still have to volunteer. Hey, I have some info on R R uh, Rise of Skywalker. Oh, I mean, they, they've been... Apparently there's all kinds of leaks that whole film has come out, and let me tell you, right, like, people have given me some hints on leaks, and it's the kind of thing where you go, nah, that's not real. The leaks for The Predator were 100% true. The leaks for Game of Thrones were 100% true. The leaks for Dark Fate were 100% true. Believe the leaks. <laughs> Just every time. I saw some where they were, apparently they tested eight different endings. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing over here! I want to see all of them. <laughs> Mola, check EFAP 17. There's an information panel about Flat Earth below it. <laughs> what? You mean like in the recommended? EFAP 17. Oh. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna check it out. Um, Everybody's always suggesting the dunk on flat earthers. Like, they're dumb. <laughs> Everyone knows that. They don't need this. No effort. It takes no effort whatsoever. How does the timeline work? Are we supposed to pretend the, f the three films through uh, the s films don't exist? It's like, yeah, they want you to think they don't exist. Uh, I, don't, I don't see any. Flat Earth thingies. Uh, the director's cut that has the scene with the, the chip. T-800 should have been remorseful about Skull screwing his wife to death and promptly killing his adopted son during a game of catch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the special edition to T2 is basically the default cut now, like the Blade Runner director's cut, so yes, it's canon. 
Well, this is the problem. It's really hard to define the canon when you have multiple releases of film. What you can do is just make it specific to um, your uh, review. So, like, you can review the film as a sequel to one of those three editions. I would pick the director's cut because it's the fucking best cut, so... Um, besides, the director's cut. Mostly go with the director's cut for canon, right? I have to check, because it's the same with uh, DS2. I reviewed Scholar of the First Sin because it's the definitive edition. And when you when the de developers tell you it's the definitive one, it's like, okay, so this is... Good job, I guess? Um, anyway, this movie feels like a remix of ideas from other sequels. It kind of is, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you can pull from different places. I'd say T2 is the biggest influence, but... Definitely a couple. Uh, whose idea was it to Jake Skywalker, my Sarah Connor, and kill off John? I will kill you in Minecraft. Oh my god. <laughs> it's fucked up, dude. Uh, do we fat movies on Sharktopus versus Whale Wolf? When will you? It's magical. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not against it. Produce 50% of the milk. Why 13% of rhinos do? Hmm? Ah, racist Yoda. That's the account that said that. <laughs> um, <laughs> Dun 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 da da dun. Do you get it? Do you understand that you're watching a Terminator movie yet? Yeah, I know. Uh, hey guys, are you as baffled as I am by the claims that Joker is dangerous, derivative, shallow, sh self indulgent, and emotionally vacant? Uh -huh. They're all wrong, so don't really bother me. <laughs> just, I was just say they're wrong. Hi, Wags. Wanna... Go ahead. Oh, just hi, Wags. Woes kisses Palpatine to save the galaxy. Oh, I. I wish that actually did happen. <laughs> Sorry the Dark Fate was bad, fellas. At least Sans is still in Smash. Also, Arnie Terminator is in Mortal Kombat 11 with older movie skins and all. Alright. Yeah, I'd... Yeah, <laughs> I put down my agreements. Or I put down agreements. Um, at my college, Gil talked about women in sci-fi films, said Ray isn't a Mary Sue because Ray was an orphan and Luke was privileged. <laughs> Solid. <laughs> no, it makes sense. Oh, shit. The, yeah, that, that pretty much sums up the reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Love both you and J Batwoman vid. J Batwoman vid. Is that you now? Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh wait. thank you. Maybe it says love you both both you and J, but then it says just it just says Batwoman vid after it, so no, I think it's about you. Uh thoughts on Die Hard, love the first, third, and fourth. Uh, I love the first, I like the third, I think the fourth is okay, and I haven't seen the fifth one because I've heard terrible things. Uh, right. I want Palpatine's head in a jar on a floating chair. <laughs> We're not going to get it, but that would be awesome. Have you yeah. seen the Netflix Castlevania show? It's a great adaptation of the games and it's well written. I definitely recommend it if you haven't seen it. Again, heard good things, have not seen it yet though. It is pretty good, I have seen it. I will recommend it as well. Just watch Dave Kellen's Dark Fate spoiler review along with Mr. H and Terminator fans. What an absolutely repugnant film. It's the big gay 1000. Yep. <laughs> uh, do an EFAP on SVU, SVU Gamergate episode with Jay Longbow. I mean, we, we can. I'm already <laughs> planning on... We, we've got something planned to watch with Longbow. <clears throat> Don't mind another thing? It'll be great. Uh, thoughts sure. about Outer Worlds? I've heard good things, but I've also had a suspicious amount of women in the leader roles. <laughs> That's a reference <laughs> to a... A person we covered, but yeah, I I don't know anything about it, so I can't really say. Uh, when are you guys complaining about Terminator Dark Fate, you get to look at women. <laughs> uh, how is the all powerful women. Ray not privileged? Fucking, I don't know. <laughs> she because she grew grew up in a desert. She may be a god, but she lives in a desert. So, Mola, I'm asking you to look at the film as a Terminator fanatical universe. It doesn't have to make sense. It's a movie about robots for children. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, and does Wags wank as high as any in... Sorry, does Wags wank as high as any in Wom? Whom yes, I, uh, yes. I say yes, yes. yes. Uh, and that about... So, um... Yes, it would make sense since you both are here. Do you want to... Say something about your channels before before we sign out. We peace out. Uh, Jay and, and Al are already gone, so they don't get to plug now. Terrible. Huh. Get fucked. Um, 
Uh, Jay Longbone, do you want to go first? Talk about your, your tisms. Oh, yeah, um, well, my channel, like, right well, right now I'm doing uh, reactions to Batwoman episodes. That's where my life is headed right now. Uh, nice. <laughs> I, but nice. I, I, do, I, <laughs> I do commentary uh, videos, though, and I do, I do you know, reactions. Uh, just like and movie reviews. It's just it's a hodgepodge of shit. <laughs> and so yeah. So sometimes I'm funny. Sometimes you know I'm not. You know, check it out. <clears throat> and Mel, do you do anything on YouTube yet? No, okay. no. I'm working on it, as you are aware. But as of now, there's only my Twitch channel where things are happening. Well, not now. I'm in long man territory. I'm right below on the lower floor right now. Yeah, I guess. Uh, yeah, just just right now, just chilling out on on the Twitch, playing games. You might know the drunk streams we do, where like lots of different random Mifa people just appear. Also, just in normal streams. Um, yeah, just, just hanging out, having some fun. Find them on L Commander Twitch channel, and then find them in the video section also. But you can also find them on his YouTube channel, which is just Metal Commander. Yes, oh, which is all there. As of now, the, the only video I made myself is the highlight video I made. And other than that, there's only like the bots from Twitch that I uh, go and upload there. And yeah, in terms of what's coming next, October 31st, we're going to stream a spooky video game, me and me and Mel. Um, yes. The next Batwoman episode will be out by then, probably. And you'll see all three of us in some way involved in that. No different matters, because it's going to be hilarious, oh, yeah. I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'll be deciding in the next couple of days if I'm going to make a Dark Fate video. I'd say it's more likely yes than no, as in like sooner rather than later. But uh, like I'm I'm waiting on Joker to come out on Blu-ray before I touch it as well. That's this kind of like I want to get more details right, and you can't with cam copies because you can often not even hear the dialogue, um, yeah, subtitles for anything. But um, yeah, we'll we'll get around to um. Everything. That's the hope. Because the thing is, we're all running out of time. Episode nine's coming out soon. That's gonna be a disaster. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I might actually pay to see that because I'm gonna be out of, out of I'm gonna be out of i I'm gonna be out of town during that time. I'm gonna be at my uh, vacationing with my mom, so who knows? I might convince her to go see it with me. Just so I'll just tell it nothing you know. will make sense and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh Last few super chats. Uh, Mola, watch season one of Batman animated series. I may do at some point. Uh, did you know Star Wars Episode Nine is the ninth movie in the fan fiction cinema? <laughs> <laughs> in fan fiction cinema, I mean, actually, Zootopia, Efab, Longbone, as well as you know why. Oh God. <laughs> Zootopia work for that format? I don't even know. <laughs> Is it something we could laugh at a lot? I'm assuming it is. <laughs> well, all right, look, wait. How the f <laughs> you're gonna have to blur out so much shit because it's just, it's just gonna be nothing but furry porn. Oh, Utopia. No. Wait. Oh, they're talking about the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy My fuck! Mind. Was My this movie something, something completely different? different? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that's that's a possibility as well. Uh, oh. Did you get my super chat? Sorry if I missed it. Uh, the one that said about Dave Cullen's video, I yeah, well, like I said, I might check it out. Um, not got a huge amount of time because, but 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 uh, it's a possibility. I got so many videos to watch. Uh, the people reminding you that Remarkable Republican wants on EFAP probably aren't expecting an intellectual debate. They probably just want to laugh at your pain while you speak with him. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what you want is to like bring him on like fucking a cloud, like in Joker. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like I said, me and Rags are really, we, we, the thing is, he would be taking a slot for something else we could set up. We're not, I don't know, we just don't think we'll get much content out of him. Um, don't know what the hell is going on with him. And I have a, you know, he's, he's one of those people where it's in like a section where, where you're like, oh, um, he, he wants to privatize the military on Mars while also claiming that Luke is a gay lesbian, a, a lesbian. <laughs> Whatever. And you're just like, what the fuck is going on there? Do you just want to like move away while while you know closing doors and stuff? So yeah, we don't, it's just it's fine. He wins the debate, okay? If ever he thought everything we said about him was wrong, you know, it's funny. I'm talking about this with you two. You two are here for that, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good old loud soup. Um. 
If I created a Cards Against Humanity style game full of EFAP references, would you play it? Bow to the Leper Messiah? Um, I mean, I, I think so. If it functioned pretty well, we'd probably give it a shot. I don't know if we could make an EFAP gaming out of it, but like, I would get everyone together to... Well, I say everybody, me, Rags, and probably a couple of people. Like, I don't see why not, but don't, you know... Don't make it if the entire point is to see us play it, just in case things fall apart or whatever. Only only do it if you're having fun with it, sort of thing. Uh, did you see my tweet about no seats available for Star Wars Episode Nine? What do you think about this? Uh, all, all I knew was that there's a shit ton of seats available in my cinema, and then loads of people started posting different screenshots of, of how they're not filling seats as much as Disney are claiming they are. Um, which I don't really care about that much. Box office will tell everyone anyway, but um, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, like they they may have filled or had full or no seats available. Like I, I could believe. Um, yes. What did you think? I thought you you're dirty, Jay Longbone. <laughs> She's experienced a lot of horrible things in life, and she never knows exactly what. Um, any plans to do an EFAP on Mass Effect <laughs> with Smud Boy? I can wait a few. Years. I've not played it. So I'd be useless. Almost. Um. Uh, yeah, that's about it. So, is there anything you guys want to say before we go? Don't don't waste your money on that movie. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> well, it's been fun. Thank you very much uh, for the donations, folks. Kind, and um, we will be back on EFAB in about just time is the intention, and uh, there'll be some things coming along the way in. Don't go see this film. That is a good idea. This will be back up on Moolah uh, like a day's time or whatever. Yes. Till then, we shall see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.